Hey, Rain. We're letting you go.
it going? Well, like I told you, the contract was only a temporary one. The bond's easy to form, which means you can't expect it to last very long. What's the time? Like? <laughs> Maybe that lesson was a little advanced. You really are awesome, Rain. Hmm? When I grow up, I want to be a beast tamer, too. Me, too. <laughs> Wait, weren't you the one telling me you wanted to be a hero someday? Well, the hero in his party always seems super annoyed when commoners like us try to have anything to do with him. Even though they suck up to rich people and nobles. They're kind of mean, aren't they? And scary. I didn't realize people felt that way. Who knew? That explains a lot of sideways looks I got when I bought supplies for Arios in the party. But you've never been like that, Rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you always play with us. You're nice. <laughs> it's gonna be even harder to tell them I just got fired. I'm gonna be an adventurer and travel all over the world and make a ton of money overnight. A big fortune. A fortune overnight. A fortune overnight. <laughs> <laughs> like a migratory bird. Free to fly wherever I please. An adventurer. Wonder if I can make a living off my skills as a beast tamer. Now that I don't have to worry about defeating the Demon King, this might be the perfect job for me. Uh -huh. Alright! Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild! My name's Natalie, and I'm the receptionist. For starters, let's go over the basics of the Adventurer's Trial. Uh, before that, can you tell me a bit more about being an adventurer? Uh -huh. I hate to admit, I actually know very little about this stuff. Uh -huh. Arios and the others looked down on adventurers, so we didn't interact with them all that much. <laughs> well, aren't you earnest? Most applicants don't really put this level of thought into it. Personally, I think you're on the right track. Yeah, you really do? I really do! Now then, we'll start from the beginning today. Adventurers, like monsters, are assigned ranks. S being top tier, down to That's everything! <laughs> Was there anything else you'd like to ask about? No, thank you, though. I should be good. <laughs> if that's the case, let's move on to your adventurer's trial. First, I need to know your class. Well, I'm a beast tamer. <laughs> beast tamer? Um, are you sure you'll be all right by yourself? <gasps> it's because you're a feeble, useless loser. <laughs> Just don't go out there and do anything reckless. An adventurer needs to know when a job is too much for them to handle. Yes, of course. Do you understand why the guild requires a trial in order to be registered as an adventurer? If I had to guess, having a bunch of unqualified adventurers would undermine public trust in the guild. Is that right? That's right! Nicely done, Beast Tamer! Because if we lose that trust, the government gets involved. <laughs> but, aside from that, to complete the trial, you need to slay ten goblins and collect twenty medicinal herbs. As an adventurer, you'll be expected to take on a variety of hunting and collecting jobs. This trial is the bare minimum required to prove yourself and your abilities to the guild. And that's ten. My little friend, thanks for helping me find the goblins. I suppose that even a lowly beast tamer like me can lay waste to a tiny group of F-rank monsters. I've got the goblins' rune stones. All I have to do now is gather the herbs and head back to the guild. Oh, screaming? From the forest! <laughs> a killer tiger! Huh? Oh no! The killer tiger's a D-ranked monster. Even a venom adventurer could be mauled to death by one of these if they're not careful. Great. Of course we don't stand a chance. But maybe she does. Can you move? Hey, miss! Run while you still can! Tiger and 
And, uh, you are? Oh. There are beings of inexplicable power that exist in this world, known as ultimate species. Dragonoids, fairies, demigods. They can all be included in this category. But cat spirits? They're some of the rarest around. Can it be true? Mom? And I am done. Goodbye. Hey! Miss, you alright? Are you hurt? Please, say something! So? So? Spirit? 
It's not something I ever considered before. Come on, Rain. I think you should try to take me out. If I could tame an ultimate species, it would be an unimaginably big boon. Nothing so terrible would ever happen again. Not with her by my side. I don't know. Kind of feels like it was fate somehow. <gasps> Wait a minute. It's not because she's an ultimate species. The truth is, I just want to get to know Kanade better. All right, let's give it a shot. In establishing this new contract, a bond is formed between us. An oath in our hearts, and hopes in our souls. Your power in my hand. Speak now. Say your name. If she utters her name, the contract will be established. If she doesn't, it will fail. Contract is sealed. See? Check out the palm of your hand. Ah! There's some kind of mysterious pattern! That symbol is the physical representation ah. of what links us together. You and I are officially contracted now. Really? I guess that means that you and I are bound together for a while then, huh? It's fantastic! Bound? Is that wrong? No. You're right. It does symbolize our bond, Kanade. <laughs> Pleased to travel with you, Rain. And the feeling is mutual. Uh, what? Hang on! Hey! There are ultimate species around the world, gifted with inexplicable power. I was just a beast tamer, kicked out of a hero's party, with no gold or comrades to call my own. And now, one of those ultimate species is working with me. <laughs> That's 10 goblin rune stones and 20 medicinal herbs. So, looks like you've got all that you need. Congratulations, you passed the entrance trial. I'm pleased to inform you that the Horizon Adventurers Guild hereby recognizes Rain Shroud as an F rank adventurer. <gasps> this is your adventurer's card. It's how we'll identify you, so please take good care of it. Right. Thank you. And for your trouble, here's 50 copper coins. It's not much in the way of a reward. But you can't expect a whole lot from an F-rank job. Don't worry, though. As your rank goes up, your pay will go up as well. Considering how quickly you were able to get through that first trial, I'm sure you'll be promoted in no time. <gasps> Best of luck to you. Thanks a bunch. If I'm going to increase my rank, I'll want a home base to work out of. Making small chains like this won't cover that kind of expense. But it's a start. <gasps> hey, Rain! Sorry to make you wait on me. It. Does this mean you're an official adventurer, Meow? Yep, I sure am. Really? Congratulations! Well, thank you. And now that I'm able, I want to start accepting new jobs. If it's all right, Kanade. Yeah, of course it's all right. Let's go! Well, well, uh? you certainly don't come across this every day. Mm -hmm. A bona fide cat spirit in the flesh. Can I help you? In fact, I've never seen a real one in person. <gasps> What's a pretty kitty like you doing in a place like this anyway? Mm. None of your darn business. How about that? Oh, come on. It doesn't have to be like that. How about a couple drinks? It's got to be more fun than hanging out with this puny mess. <gasps> Shut up! You can't say such clawful things about my master. Uh -huh. Rain's the one who tamed me, not you, okay? <clears throat> he did what? 
That's correct. I'm a beast tamer. <laughs> this kid's more stupid than he looks. Cat spirits are one of the ultimate species, and you want me to believe a scrawny runt like you tamed her? <laughs> Shows you're the one with prep for brains. Brain's the most amazing beast tamer, and he's so much stronger than you'll ever be. Conde? Really? You think this whiny brat's stronger than me? In that case, let's find out who's stronger man to man, unless you're a scaredy cat. And the winner gets the girl. Uh, now hold on. You're not gonna chicken out, are you? Not when you're a mighty beast tamer with the power to tame an ultimate species like her. Someone like me shouldn't be much of a challenge at all. I don't care what he says about me. But if I don't handle the situation now, he'll most likely come after Kanade again in the future. <laughs> Wait, hold on! What's wrong? Cat got your tongue. She'll always be in danger, and I can't let that happen. <laughs> Don't cry if I end up snapping your little twig arm. I didn't think I'd be gambling for a rare cat spirit. Maybe my luck's finally turning around. Even if I know I'll lose, I have to give it everything I've got. Ready? Go! <laughs> I should have known it was you again. Please accept my humble apologies. The guild has been monitoring his unruly behavior and has even been considering a full suspension of his adventurer's license. Again, you have our sincerest apologies, Rain. And not to worry, I can take it from here. Uh, right. Though I must ask you... Uh -huh. How did you end up contracted with a cat spirit in the middle of your trial? To see you return with her was quite shocking. <laughs> We're so sorry. Uh, oh, oh no, did I say that out loud? <clears throat> what I meant to say was since you forged such a powerful partnership, I'm sure the guild can expect nothing but great things from you. See you later. Uh, how did uh, I do that? I shouldn't be strong enough to break a table. Uh, you must have not been paying close attention. Huh? As a master, when you form a contract with a formidable species like a cat spirit, your own strength is amplified in return. In other words, right now you can break a lot more tables because you're just about as strong as me. Oh, this kind of stuff only happens in my dreams. Do I really have the strength of a cat spirit? Wow, you really didn't know, did you? No. I don't know anybody who's contracted with an ultimate species or what that means for me, but I couldn't just let that creep touch you. I see, I see! I would be lying if I said I wasn't super happy when you smash a stupid paw into that table to protect me back there. Well, it's you. For partners, right? That's right! And today we start our newest adventure! And I'm gonna work super hard! Or do whatever this is. Why herbs, anyway? How many herbs can one guild possibly have use for? I thought you were an adventurer! On the hunt for legendary swords or like rescuing kidnapped princesses from castles? Jobs like that, no! I won't be getting any jobs like that until I've proven myself worthy of promotion to the guild. We'll have to stick to f rank jobs until we've gotten more experience. <laughs> hmm? All right, I understand. I'm gonna work so hard, I'll pull every blade of grass! Thanks, guys. Huh? You did a wonderful job gathering all of these. This should cover our entire quota. Why is it always the bunnies? Uh -huh. It's not fair. I'm your bonded familiar, and I wanted to be the one to help you collect all the grass for your adventure's job. Where do these pets get the nerve to haunt the spotlight when I'm the one giving you powers? <laughs> I believe we got all the grass we needed. So let's head back to the guild. Wait. What is it? I got the sense that something was wrong. I think I can hear someone shouting. And maybe screaming? Let's help them. <laughs> ah, looks like your brave guards left you hanging, old man. Those cowards took off the second they realized they were dealing with the Ebon Fangs, and I can't blame them. How's it feel, huh? Sucks to have the adventurers you hired take your money and run. <laughs> The Ebon Fangs? I heard about these guys while I was traveling. They're a band of brigands with a terrible reputation. 
They have over a hundred members, and everywhere they go, they do unspeakable things. This is too dangerous. We're gonna need to go get help. We can't. I don't think we'll have enough time. Hey, as long as you give us your cargo, we couldn't care less about you, old man. Ha! You really think you'd get off that easy? <laughs> oh, let me go! I want to save that man. We've got to. Right now. <laughs> I knew my master wasn't the type to turn tail. <laughs> All right, I'll jump in the middle of the group and take them out. You protect the old man. You got it. Here we go. Let <laughs> <Lindo. laughs> Mister, are you all right? Come with me out. <laughs> Rip him to pieces. If I'm being perfectly honest, I was nervous for him. Rain has the potential to redefine what it means to be a beast tamer. Not to mention, he's also gained the power of a cat spirit through our contract. Because of who he is as a person, I would never regret forming that bond with him. But what if he can't handle the enormous power and has trouble adapting to his newfound strength? Would it have a negative impact on his mind? Could it cause him to self-destruct? He's the one calling the shots, but I think it'd be safer if I was the one fighting the brigands instead. So, 
Back home, I decided to start training and stuck with it for a while. But I never quite mastered it, I'm sad to say. That's still amazing, though. You're telling me you have skills from two classes? The surprises never end with you when it rains, it pours. Really? Anyway, I'm gonna send the Arby's after the bandits. And I want you to head back to town and try to get us some reinforcements. Roger! No. Wait a moment! Shh! <laughs> um, is there a reason you keep doing the most dangerous parts of the plan by yourself? Rain, am I really that unreliable to you as your familiar? No way! You've been super reliable! Just kidding again! It's all good! What reinforcements? Well, we're gonna need some help. Arresting a hundred bandits won't be easy. So I want you to find and rally the Order of Knights. Who's that? They're the organization tasked by the government to uphold peace in the realm. Since these are bandits, I have no doubt they'll help us. Meow! You got it! Just promise me you'll be careful, alright? I'm sure your plan is perfect, but I'll still worry. I'll run away if it gets dangerous. I promise. Thanks! Then I'll be back with help before you can even say cat spirit! Hey, looks like someone else brought backup. Now, let's get started. Where are they? Not sure. It seems we've managed to escape. Great! This whole thing's been a nightmare. I thought helping an old merchant would be a good way to kill some time and earn some coin until we left for the Lost Woods. It should have been an easy job. But instead, we got chased off by a bunch of scumbag bandits. Maybe we would have been better off back in town schmoozing it up with Arios and Agath. At least we'd get some wine. Weren't you the one who said schmoozing it up with those idiots would be a total drag? I did, yeah. Because I think it's ridiculous that the Heroes Party is expected to suck up to some lame bozos that aren't even royalty. But right now... I've got a bigger bone to pick. <gasps> Where were you, boy? Your whole job is to stay on the front lines and buy a spellcaster some time to work. Do you know anything about the basic tenets of combat? Where'd you get the nerve to run away like that? <sighs> She's right. With your lack of experience, I'm amazed you accepted this job even as a temp. Listen, I tried to tell you before... I'm a beast tamer. My class was never meant to be used for frontline combat. Huh? So it's our fault you're terrible at your job. Even a coward as useless as Rain Shroud would at least try to hold his own in battle. Wait, am I supposed to know who we're talking about? If you knew combat was your weakness, why weren't you more thorough when scouting the area? Did you honestly think that a single squirrel was capable of providing enough information? Yeah! You should have tamed 10 or 20 to get a proper lay of the land! But you wouldn't because you're useless taming trash! Uh, you can't be serious! You're asking me to do something that's not possible! 10 or 20? Most people can't even tame two at once! Fundamentally, one beast tamer can only tame a single beast at a time! If you tried to tame more than one at once, it would be enough to overload your nervous system! You two are telling me that I don't know the basics about combat, but you don't even know the basics about huh? beast taming! Is that all true? And what does that say about Rain? He could tame dozens of animals at once. It even seemed easy to him. Alright, enough. It's clear to me that you're not only useless, but a liar. Huh? And... We certainly don't want to have any rumors spreading that members of the Heroes Party make mistakes of this magnitude. So you're going to step up and claim full responsibility for accepting and bungling this entire operation. Got it? But what about my reputation, huh? You're talking to someone who knows thousands of spells, and Nina can use healing magic so powerful she can raise the dead. Perhaps you'd be more cooperative after dying and being resurrected a few times. No! Don't hurt me! I'll do whatever you say! Well, that was a huge waste of time. Truly. And what was he blabbering on about? Making it seem as if Rain were special. Uh, oh. Dealing with this garbage is exhausting. Let's just get back to town. All right. Arios and Agath should almost be done by now. <laughs> Wasting our time with blatant lies. That piece of filth, Rain. I doubt he'd be good at anything. <laughs> My whole body's gone numb. I can't move. <laughs> Looks like that went smoothly. You've done an excellent job. Thank you. Hey! Cavalry's here thanks to Meow! <laughs> the 
The cat lady filled us in on the way. I'm impressed you were able to take out the Evan Fangs. Me too, but you already proved your worth at the guild. Well, you got Fanit, so we'll get the cleanup. Thank you. I would help. Huh? I just realized that I only see adventurers. Yeah, and I'm afraid that's all you're gonna see here. The Knights can spare the time to deal with mere cut purses. Don't worry about it. You two should let us handle it from here. He already took care of the hard part. <laughs> you got him here fast. Thanks for going and finding them. Are you worn out? Oh, no. I just feel like fine. I'm just glad I was finally able to help you, Rain. Yeah. And now it's time we head back to... Uh, wait, what was that? Hold on, I think I know and it's bad. Since we left the cave, do you think they're doing all right in there? Maybe. They're fighting so many king lizards alone. I can only imagine that they're... Sleeping 
the same room as a girl. It isn't right. Huh? You act like it's a catastrophe, but I don't mind. Well, you should. If you hadn't noticed, I'm a guy. Mm. Now that you mention it, I guess I hadn't really thought about it that way. The idea of sharing a room with a guy is a little embarrassing. But this will be fine, because you're not some kind of dog who's trying to get your paws on me. Right? It's hard to tell if she's too nice or too naive. Listen, Kanade. You shouldn't always put your trust in people so easily. We just met, what, a couple days ago? We barely know each other. How could you know if I'm a trustworthy person in that amount of time? Good night. Please don't go. It's not that I would trust just anybody. I only trust you because you're you, silly. I've never encountered anyone else like you. And even if we only met a couple days ago, we're still friends, right? <sighs> and, uh, real friends don't let their other friends sleep outside or something. <laughs> At least not where I'm from. No siree, no, I don't get it. have a chance. Uh, I won't go outside. I'll stay here and sleep. Really? Yeah. All right, well, I'm super happy to hear that. <laughs> you know, life's been one surprise after another since I met Kanade. How could I argue with her? Oh, um, now that you're staying, would you kindly look away while I'm changing, Purdy, please? Yeah, obviously. Aww, he's so cute. Rain is truly the cat's meow. Even among the ultimate species, cat spirits like me are rare. And as with anything that's hard to find, countless humans have tried to get their paws on me. When they find me, they only want to use me as a tool to get whatever they want in life. Money, greed, glory. That's all those people ever wanted. Until I got lucky and met him. Miss, you all right? Rain. He was surprised to meet me out like the others, but... He was different. It was pure kindness that drove him to save me. He didn't want to use me. He treated me like I was a normal person. It's hard to fully express just how much that filled me with joy. Poor guy. I can imagine he's still hurt from being dumped by the hero's party. He's acting like everything's fine, but I'm sure deep down, he feels the sting. I want to help him heal that wound and see him really smile from the bottom of his heart. I promise no matter what happens, you'll always have me to lean on, Rain. I've known Kanade for a week now. Rain! Huh? <laughs> Knocking out jobs together has been a breeze. <laughs> Just a couple of friends, enjoying the laid-back life of an adventurer. You want one? Thank you. The guard dog of Stride Bridge? Yeah, the guild has received reports of a hooligan terrorizing the bridge. A hula what? Apparently, they're picking fights with anyone who tries to cross. And once they win, they allow their victims to escape. Fortunately, no one has died. At least not that we know of. Regardless, they're disrupting people from using the bridge. Uh -huh. So tell me, mm -hmm. how does that sound, Rain? You in? Are you the man for the job? You think an E-rank like me is even qualified? Yes, sir! This job is available to all ranks, and whoever takes down the hooligan first gets the reward! A good one, too. It's rather high. Five gold pieces! Uh -huh. huh? I'm in. Uh, I really appreciate you. Stride Bridge. The only way to get from Horizon, which is in the central continent, down to the southern continent. It's so awesome! I've never seen anything so amazing! It is. I guess you've never been here before, huh? Nuh-uh. What kind of person would attack people on a cool bridge like this? Good question. Normally, with so many living witnesses, you'd be able to get an idea of who the culprit might be. But the people who are beaten refuse to talk. 
so I failed to get any information about the guard dog's identity. My enemy is a mystery. I'll have to stay on high alert. Rain! Huh? What's up? Look! Right there! Huh? <laughs> Careful, I might enjoy this too much. She really is an ultimate species. Her strength is unreal. We may have gotten ahead of ourselves thinking we could beat a Dragonoid in hand-to-hand -hand combat. What I need to do is fight her like a real beast tamer. Hey, I need you to distract her for a few minutes. Huh? I think I've just come up with a plan. What is it? If you can buy me a little time, I'll work out the rest. Yeah, you can count on me, Al. <laughs> Great, thanks. Done with your little strategy sesh? Yep. Done, and now it's just you and me! <laughs> Tell her that! No. No time. I really need to focus. 
think. Remember earlier, when Tania sent me flying, I felt something. Another very faint presence. <laughs> a guy! Will you bring your friends back to me? Yes, good girl. Take it from here. What? Is it our turn to tango next? No, it won't be me, I'm afraid. But my friends. Uh, uh. Ah! What's going on? Why are they doing to me? It doesn't really hurt, but it is extremely irritating. Enough! <laughs> Adorable. Were you trying to create a smoke screen? You had to know that wouldn't hurt me. You make me laugh! A weak barrage like that could never hurt a dragonoid. Not like me. Why can't I move? <laughs> this little lady's bright plumage sends a signal to predators to let them know she's poisonous. <laughs> poisonous? And they deliver a big enough dose that even an ultimate species like you should be on your tail for a while. so quickly meow this stuff is so incredibly potent that i can barely even lift a finger let alone fight how could i possibly win now <laughs> <laughs> we did it <laughs> thanks to your birdie friend's poison she's all you too you know hey tanya you're coming with us now <laughs> why you gonna make some coin by selling me to another human no it's nothing like that i just want to talk with you and, I don't know, maybe convince you not to do this again? And if I refuse? Well, in that case... I don't know. I'm stumped. Really? What kind of a response is that? I'm paralyzed. You could take me anywhere and make me do whatever you wanted. You're such a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> You're being a big sourpuss to my friend, and bad girls need to be punished. Please yeah. stop! Yeah. I'll yeah. do anything yeah. if you quit! Yeah. I promise! Yeah. I'll go yeah. anywhere! Yeah. <laughs> I said I'll go! Cut it out already! It never ends. You actually managed to scare away the guard dog on Stride Bridge? Uh, yeah, sure did. I beat that hooligan, and they said they won't be coming back. People should be safe to start crossing the bridge as usual. If anyone could do it, I knew it'd be you. That hostile ruffian didn't stand a chance. As soon as we confirm that the bridge is safe, you'll receive your reward. The guild can't thank you enough for your hard work. And who's that? Did you make another new friend? <gasps> the tail in those horns. Is she a dragon? No way! You say dragon? Not her! It's just a human! And a costume! A good one! Oh, yeah? I see. Looks great. Don't you dare try to speak for me, buddy. I'm not some kind of weirdo like you. <laughs> Behold! I am the queen of the skies and all that lies below. Uh, you gotta get going. Catch you later. See ya! If the people of Horizon find out you were the guard dog, it'll throw the whole town into a blind panic. So please don't tell anyone. Tanya! Huh? You there! Fight me like a man! Hey! <laughs> Holy crap, she's awesome! <laughs> How do you do it? Who, me? You kids want to know what I really am? <laughs> Seriously, you gotta quit trying to tell everybody. We can't let the cat out of the bag. Uh, oh. Oops. <sighs> and now, time for us to move on to the next part of our plan. <sighs> to try and get you somewhere safe. <gasps> really? Thankfully, tales of the guard dog's misadventures didn't spread too far. Just promise you won't terrorize any bridges from here on out. Uh, you know what? I wondered why those guys wouldn't tell you about Tanya. Yeah, me too. Did you threaten them or what? No, no, nothing like that. But I bet. They were too ashamed to admit they lost a fight with a girl. Is that really why none of those men would talk? 
Are you not gonna turn me into the Adventurer's Guild? I won't as long as you take your training somewhere that draws a little less attention. Well, I don't know. Seeing as I couldn't even beat you two, I doubt my training was doing a lot of good for me in the first place. But I thought Dragonoid Boss says you have to continue training to increase your power. Yeah, you're not wrong. Which is why I thought I'd tag along with you guys. Why, why would you want to travel with us? Because it seems like hanging out with you two would be pretty good training. And it just sounds fun. Besides, Rain, was it? I'm starting to realize that I like you. After all, you chose to protect me. Slow your roll! And get your grubby paws off my master right now! Are you jealous? Uh, of course not. It just seemed like Rain was a little uncomfortable as well. Oh, come on. It's a little hug. And nobody likes a girl who doesn't share. <laughs> Always ready for a fight. I guess I wouldn't mind having Tanya in the party. What about you, Kanade? <laughs> Is that all right with you? Meow? Well, I uh, guess I just think that... Whatever. I like her, okay? But she's a bit persnickety. That's that. I guess it's settled. Now let's form a contract. Huh? You have a contract with Kanade, so why not form a bond with me while you're at it, right? I guess. I can't believe I formed a contract with a cat spirit. And now, I'm bonding with a dragonoid, too. Are you ready? Yeah, whenever you are. My name is Rain Shroud. In establishing this new contract, a bond is formed between us. An oath in our hearts, and a hope in our souls. Your power in my hand. Speak now. Say your name. Tanya. <laughs> is it done? Yeah. The contract is sealed. Check it out. You've got a weird pattern on your hand now. Oh my, it is weird. So this is what it feels like to be tamed, huh? It's strange. It feels like no matter where I was, I'd be joined with Rain. And it's kinda nice. I think I could get used to this. I feel like I just burned through an entire lifetime's worth of luck. Hey, you. You just got to seal a contract with me. Why do you look so unhappy, huh? I'm happy to work with you. Thanks, my master. <laughs> Damn it! We just wasted a whole week in the woods for nothing! I'm exhausted and I want to take a hot bath! Scouting and fending off monsters at the same time was much more difficult than I could have imagined. And carrying around loot. Remember those were the jobs that Rain used to do for us. <sighs> Why should I have to do that whiny garbage person's job anyway? Well, what other <sighs> options do we have? How are we going to go on like this? <laughs> Why don't we just bring the run back? Huh? We'll feign an apology. Swear we didn't mean what we said, and he'll come crawling back to us. He's too nice to say no, it's as simple as that. After we finish clearing the Lost Woods, we'll ditch him yet again. accepted as a trio. Keep looking. Only one over here. Uh, we're hunting for slimes. Slimes are your most basic F-rank monsters that anyone can handle. So most adventurers ignore them, which is a problem. Because when left alone, they'll turn into a swarm. And then, you're likely to find them ravaging some poor farmer's fields. 
Oh, great. A bunch of slimes. Aw, is Little Miss Scaredy Cat afraid of some baby blobs? No way! You know I could shred every slime in the world if I really wanted to. It's just... Yeah! <laughs> I get all sticky and gross. They're so jiggly and wiggly, and I hate it. That's what happens when you get too up close and personal. So now you know why I melt them with my flames from a splatter-free distance. Let me take care of these guys. Are you for real? I have nothing to fear with you around. <laughs> Indeed. Come on, don't stop. Keep the kudos coming. Denny on the fire! Denny on the Look at them. <laughs> I wasn't sure they'd actually get along at first. But I think we're in the clear. Let's see. I never thought a swarm of slimes would be this difficult to find. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Time to fly. You what? fly? Is this bird gonna scout for us or what? No. Nah. With the two of you here, I feel safe enough to try assimilating. Huh? into our bird friend. Which means I can use his body to move around and stuff. To do this, I've used the Beast Tamer skill, Assimilate. And to communicate with you, I'm using magic to send out thought waves. Magic? If you can use magic, is there anything you can't do? It seems impossible. Yeah, you've got such a wide range of abilities. I thought most Beast Tamers could pull this off. Well, you're freaking wrong! <laughs> right, those slimes aren't gonna find themselves! Keep an eye on my body while I'm gone, will you? That boy... He's something else. You're not kidding. <sighs> you went searching for slimes and you found them. So many my blood went cold. Well, let's take them now! Hang on a sec. Huh? Rain, what other spells are you able to cast? Uh, just some beginner stuff like heal and fireball. Tried to learn more a long time ago, but those are the only spells I could handle. Is that so? Let's see. I want you to use the fireball spell on that swarm of slimes. Huh? I don't think my fireball will do much. They'll only fry if you try. Uh, fine, I'll give it a shot. Just stop pushing me. I'm gonna fall into them. Hmm. Focus. Conjured in the palm of your hand. You've gotta form the magic circle. And then... Let her rip! Fireball! No way! What just happened? We couldn't have fought back if they tried! That's what I thought. After you formed a contract with Kanade, your physical abilities were boosted to be more like a cat spirit. Right. It stands to reason that your bond with me would do something similar but with magic instead. Like my fireballs and fire breath. Both of those are fueled by magic power. Magical capabilities of the Dragonoids are the second most powerful of all ultimate species. And because of our contract, that power now lives in you. Your magic? In me? Please slow down, this is all so confusing. <laughs> We've got more slimes. Good timing, we can use them to practice. Huh? Compared to physical abilities, magic is harder to use. You still don't feel confident controlling it, right? Uh, I guess not. I know it might be difficult, but give it your best shot. You're our master, remember? Show us your inner fire. <sighs> She's right. As their master, I wouldn't want to be an embarrassment to my ultimate species, friends. I want to be better. Tanya, I want you to show me how to use magic. You better be ready, because I'm a real strict teacher. I believe in you! you Tanya wasn't messing around. Fireball! You call that a fireball? You've got the focus of a goldfish in the posture of a slot! <laughs> That's it! I am the front! Fire it up! Right, uh, Fireball! Yeah, she was a little harsh. But she did successfully push me to become a better magic user. Hey, cat lady! Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing? We finished our job, so 
we came back to tell the guild. Huh? And it's the dragon lady. What did you fight today? Some slimes. Oh, my mom told me they're nothing but pests and eat all the farmer's vegetables. Lucky for you, the slimes are all gone now. So you can eat all your veggies. Aw, but I think meat tastes a lot better. I do too. Me too. No way. We're the same. Uh -huh. I'm back. Who's hungry? We got a pretty nice reward. <laughs> People are more accepting of Tanya if we tell them she's just eccentric and likes to wear a dragonoid costume. She still comes close to revealing herself every once in a while, but I think we'll be okay for now. I guess ultimate species have ultimate appetites. Thanks for the meal! I'm so stuffed! Who knew the food in the city was so delicious? You both did a wonderful job today. Thanks, but it was you who found and incinerated all those slimes in the forest. I was only able to because you taught me how to use magic, so I owe you big time. Yeah, well, you don't owe me anything, because that's just what friends do for each other. Uh, <laughs> you're right. So, hey, where did you learn your beast tamer skills anyway? Mm. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious, too. Uh, it's not a particularly interesting story. Oh, come on, just tell us. Don't act like the cat's got your tongue. All right. I started my journey as a beast tamer in the village where I grew up. It was a wonderful place full of others like me. As you probably guessed, my parents were beast tamers too. Honestly, I can't remember a time when I wasn't learning how to hone my craft. I even learned related skills like insect taming from a friend of the family. <sighs> it may have been a small village without a name, but it was a good place. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Yeah, that's right. My hometown no longer exists. Huh? Oh, poor guy. I didn't mean to make you talk about something that is so painful. I apologize. That's fine. I get it. Listen, it probably sounds like an excuse, but I wasn't trying to be nice. You're my friend, Rain. I wanted to get to know you a little better, so forgive me, Al. I feel the same as she does. I really want to learn more about you, you know? But if it's painful, you don't have to say any more. Yeah, we would never want to hurt your felines. Of course. I totally understand wanting to know more about your friends. That's how you make your bonds even stronger. There's no reason to feel bad about it. I don't mind sharing. So is now a good time? Yes! Yeah. Everything changed when I was 12 years old. My parents were too busy to stay that day. They weren't able to watch me train like they usually did. So, I spent the whole day on the outskirts of the village, practicing by myself. I trained until sunset. And when night fell, I could finally see it. It should have been dark, but a red glow lit up the sky. I raced to the village as fast as I could. I knew something was terribly wrong. But... By the time I arrived, it was already too late. Monsters had burned our village to the ground. And I was the only one who'd survived. Some adventurers who'd rushed over to help when they saw the smoke found me and took me with them. They were kind enough to bring me to an inn run by a friend of theirs. I had to hustle to earn my keep, though. It took everything in me to simply exist, and that was my life for many, many years. Until about six months ago. That's when I met Arios in his party. Arios? The hero. He happened to be on the hunt for new members. So he invited me to join up with them. I agreed without hesitation, of course. I thought if I was a member of the Heroes Party, 
I could make a difference. And maybe I could prevent another village like mine from suffering the same fate. Sadly, no such luck. In the end, I think Arios just wanted to use me for his own gain. <sighs> I'm sorry if that story got a little dark. I can't help feeling like a loser. Huh? What is it? You know, Rain, I've been wondering about something for a while. When we took down an entire group of bandits, then went claw to toe with those king lizards, and even back when you first saved me, I couldn't help but think, why is he doing this? Just rush headfirst into danger like that? Where did this lion-hearted nature and instinctive will to help others come from? But now, I finally understand. <gasps> You're a genuinely good soul, and you really want to help people, because you would do almost anything to keep someone else from experiencing the same sadness or loss. For what it's worth, you'd never be a loser to me. Thank you. You're too kind for your own good. Plus, you are always weirdly humble and self-deprecating, more than anybody I have ever known. But I guess that's not a bad thing. Look, what I'm trying to say is, if I'm gonna call anybody master, I am just glad it's you. Yeah! You're the real deal, Rain. <gasps> they see me for who I am. The Heroes Party wanted me to be somebody I wasn't. You guys... <clears throat> I'm not <gasps> done! Who does that Heroes Party think they are?! You did all the heavy lifting and those numbskulls have the nerve to call you useless?! Ah! It just burns me up! I bet they're struggling to find their own butts without you by their side if I get my paws on those jerks! I appreciate you getting mad on my behalf, but I'm over it now! Oh, not everything is about you, Mr. Tamer! What they did is just so cruel! See? There's a nice lady hiding in there. Shut up, will ya? <laughs> Someone's blushing! No, I'm not! It's really hot out here! <laughs> I'd love it if it stayed just the three of us. Hey, do you want to see which one of us can pulverize the most orcs into kibble? I think only a fool would challenge me, but since I respect a girl who's not afraid to play with fire, let's go! <laughs> Time to turn up the heat! <gasps> well, how's that? Our current job requires us to slay orcs. They're E-rank monsters, though they aren't much stronger than the F-rank goblins. One big difference, the orcs are smart and they tend to fight with weapons. Well, if that's all it takes, we'll burn through these things in no time, huh? I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. We're still new to this whole adventuring thing, and even against orcs, the unexpected can always Not happen. Not to worry. Oh. I, Tanya of the Dragonoids, would never be defeated by a measly band of orcs. This way, let's go! Wait for me! I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Tanya, he got away! I'll fry him up! <laughs> orcs over easy. Hmm? What the? How did we miss this guy? <sighs> hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Hands off of me! <sighs> Tanya, behind <What>? you! <sighs> I told you I could use healing magic. And I have a boost from her contract. Heal. See, good as new. Everything's fine. No need to look so worried, Tanya. But it's my fault you got hurt. Are you really feeling okay? That looked bad. I'm fine. I appreciate you two. Let's gather these runes and get back to the guild. Roger, you take a break and I can pick these up in a jiffy. I told you I'm fine. Oh. That 
took a while. Oh, hey, where's Tanya? Oh, she was hanging around for a little while, but she did seem kind of down. You know, I get the feeling she wants to be left alone. <sighs> what was I thinking? Really? Hey, it's the dragon lady again. <laughs> what kind of cool stuff did you go and beat up today? I wouldn't say I beat up anything today. Uh, really? Really. Are you hurt? You can tell me. Because <laughs> if you are hurt, you gotta say something, all right? At least that is what my mom always says. Well, your mom's very wise. Yeah, except for when she tells me to eat all my vegetables. I do appreciate you checking up on me. But I'm fine, I promise. Oh, all right. See you next time. <laughs> Just like Rain. He was worried about me, too. But I refused to listen. As an ultimate species, I allowed myself to be too cocky and didn't pay enough attention. I'm so embarrassed. How can I ever show him my face again? Anya! Huh? Oh, hey! What's going on? Uh, well, see, the thing is, I just... I'm sorry about before. Huh? And, of course, you even tried to warn me. But I let my guard down, and you got hurt in the process. I know you were able to heal yourself this time, but what if something worse had happened? So please, I'm begging you. Is that why you're out here moping? <sighs> why aren't you more upset with me? <laughs> I think you were plenty upset for the both of us. Just be more careful next time, all right? I'm just glad you're safe. <gasps> Kanade was worried, you know. Uh, Tanya, <laughs> are you all right? Yeah, of course I am, silly. You are? Thank goodness. <laughs> Has another room opened up yet? Not yet, I'm afraid. Please, I'm begging you. I'll take a broom closet at this point. Sweetheart. He didn't get on to me for my arrogance. He didn't get angry, either. He was just happy knowing I was safe. He's fascinating. He insists that we use the beds instead of him. It can't be comfortable down there. He's too kind for his own good. I'm just glad you're safe. What is this? I feel warmth rushing over my heart. Why can't I stop thinking about rain? <laughs> what are these thoughts swirling around my head? It's almost like my feelings for rain. They're a little more than... <gasps> fishy, fishy. <gasps> no way, it's not true. Take a breath. We are just friends, that's it. No, we're nothing more than a couple of normal companions. Yeah, you can't win me over. Not that easy, anyway. And be careful not to kick off your covers. <laughs> Good night, sweet rain. <laughs> are pretty easy, but they won't always be, you know? Maybe you should buy some new gear. Huh? As ultimate species, we don't rely on our equipment to survive, but as a human, you're still gonna need it. Good point. I might do some shopping when we get back to town. I like that idea. And food, right? Yeah, and food. Yes! You're the cat's meow! Who, me? too long. <sighs> Come on, let's take the other way home. Mm -hmm. 
You must be joking. There's no reason to be so standoffish. After all, we were friends once, weren't we? Look, we're sorry for how things played out. I know we could have handled that better, and even if you are a worthless loser, I'll admit we should have expressed that in a more palatable way. <clears throat> What's wrong? Hey, you said you were friends. If I had to guess, you guys are the heroes party, right? That's none of your business. <gasps> Is that a cat spirit and a dragonoid? Why are these two wasting their time with him? Why do you think? We're his friends and we do everything together. There's no way. Oh, I get it now. The incompetent beast tamer gave it all love to be your loyal manservant. You better watch your meow, pretty boy. Rain was strong enough to tame us and become our master. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This garbage person is capable of taming an ultimate species. That's enough. Was there a reason you came out here? We wanted to extend an offer that you should find very appealing. Huh? It involves the Lost Woods. Does that ring a bell? Yes, of course. I was helping you all scout and prepare for them. At least I was to the point that you let me go. Ah, yes. Well, they've proven to be more trouble than anticipated. As you venture deeper into the Lost Woods, the pathways change, and your destination gets farther out of reach, a maze befitting its namesake. Once our bags filled up, we realized there was only so much the four of us could carry, and in turn, we barely lasted more than a week. Which is why we're here, Ring. We are cordially requesting your assistance in completing the job. <gasps> I know. I never would have dreamed we'd get to this point either. But your beasts might still prove useful by scouting ahead and carrying our loot. You're deluding yourself if you thought I'd accept any offer from you. Especially after the way you dropped me from the party. Someone of your stature should be honored to contribute to the hero's party. I have a feeling everyone agrees with me. He has the combat skills of a feeble child, but I guess he can be useful in other ways. Indeed, even God would acknowledge that. Be grateful we extended such a generous offer to someone as pathetic as you. <sighs> you hear that? Everyone approves of this offer. You'll give us a hand now, won't you? Forgive me, but no. Find someone else. Sorry for the delay, you two. <laughs> it's not very nice to keep us girls waiting. Speak for yourself. I don't mind at all. Rain, wait. What we're doing isn't merely a job, but a quest tied to the very fate of the world. <gasps> Deep within the Lost Woods, there lies a noble relic which is necessary to defeat the Demon King. It is known as the Shield of Truth. Wait, what? Are you serious? How silly of me. We may have forgotten to mention that earlier. We need all the relics to defeat the Demon King. And if we fail, monsters will take over the world. The powerful elites can readily withstand the onslaught. But what will happen to the ordinary men, women, and children? <sighs> if monsters are allowed to run rampant... Cities, villages everywhere... ...could succumb to the same fate as my own home. as we made the offer. He's always been slow, big dummy. For pity's sake. You've still managed to waste our valuable time. Very well, let's go somewhere civilized to iron out the details. Hold it right there! Can I help you? If it were up to me, I'd ignore you. But since Rain really wants to do this, I have to step aside. Before I do, though... <sighs> You need to apologize to Rain. <gasps> I'm not sure what you mean, considering I apologized to him a moment ago. That was the worst excuse for an apology ever! You fired Rain, destroyed his character, and now you want his help because you know you can't do the job on your own. I think the only appropriate course of action here is to grovel. So, what are you waiting for? On your knees now! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? You either beg for mercy, or we stick to my preferred method of frying you alive. But if I know my master, he'd be upset if I turned you into smoking piles of ash. So let's get those big empty heads on the ground and start groveling. And I might spare you. Did you say grovel? Don't be stupid. Who do you think you are? You expect me, the hero or 
Furios to bow his head to this incompetent failure? I refuse to acquiesce to these patently foolish demands. Indeed. Why should we have to grovel if we didn't do anything wrong? I, the Great Lean, wouldn't be caught dead groveling for that loser! Quite the unpleasant proposal. Listen here, you little rats. Keep your damn pets on a tighter leash. A negligent master has no place taming the ultimate species. They're not pets. Oh, really? I think spending all this time with non-humans has made you lose your mind. Even if they are the ultimate species, they're still not human. So, I don't see anything problematic about referring to your wannabe humanoid animals as pets! <sighs> Though I must say, even I can see they're attractive. Why don't you cut the crap and just admit that they're your little plaything pets and not your friends? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I get it now. Rain's got the hearts for animals. No wonder you wanted to be a beast tamer. <laughs> Treated Rain 
get to fight you two. I would have preferred to beat the hero, but I'll let Rain enjoy the spoils of that war this time. You might want to drop that attitude of yours. I will not let you tarnish Arios' name. I bet he could have provided a real challenge. But you two just look flammable and squishy. You wretched pea-brained lizard! You're gonna regret you ever opened that mouth! Pride goeth before a fall. <laughs> Behold the power of my thousand spell repertoire, and suffer the gravity of a star within your flesh! Gather, O oh cleansing light. I summon gravity first! you'll surely begin to regret. Not only did you turn down a most generous offer, one that would guarantee a useless elf of a beast tamer some much needed job security, but then you decided to challenge your old friends. I'll see to it that- Come on! Damn it, Rain! Why would you interrupt me when I was trying to talk to you? Because I'm done listening to you take cheap shots at me. <laughs> well, look at you! Guess I'll shut up and put an end to this once and for all! <laughs> He's fast. When I talk, he changes the blade's arc to compensate and drive me farther back. As his enemy, I'm forcefully reminded. 
He might be a total jerk, but his sword play is remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? How do you plan to defeat me, the great Arios, if you keep running away from the freaking battle? The chosen hero. He's an unspeakably powerful rival. So why don't I fear him? Where's the desperation I felt when I faced Tanya? She's the hero, but... What is this all you've got? He was able to block me! Where did he suddenly get inhuman strength? A normal beast tamer shouldn't be this powerful! It's not just strength. He was never this agile before! How? Ah, how are you doing this? You really want to know? <clears throat> These are all the powers of the beast tamer that you used to mock me for. My increased strength was granted to me when I established a bond with Kanade. The reason you can't land any attacks is because of my years of training and for studying beast behavior for the better part of my life. Since our battle began, no. Since we worked together, I've been watching you fight. How many steps you take, and where your eyes lead before you attempt a faint. Just shut up! It helps that I'm already familiar with your attack patterns. Now my own attack! <laughs> they're greatly enhanced by the power of a cat spirit! <laughs> this isn't a fair fight. You can't win, Arios. Give it up. Admit defeat. <laughs> <laughs> you really are as dumb as you look. Have you already forgotten? I have the hero's special magic at my disposal. I'll fry you to a burnt husk, you worthless excuse of a beast tamer. Fireball! <laughs> you don't have the magic power to fight against me! <sighs> What's happening? How did your novice fireball nullify my advanced lightning? Because of my bond with Tanya, even my magic is strong enough to match now. <laughs> I don't know what little trick you use there, but you're gonna need more than that to take away my advantage. If I'm remembering this correctly, the only spells you know are Fireball and Heal. I might not be as adept as me, but I still command a wide variety of spells! <laughs> How long do you think you can hold me off with that novice magic of yours? It certainly would be difficult to hold him off with just two basic spells, thankfully. That's not my only area of expertise. Can you afford to take your eyes off me? It's about time we finish this! <laughs> What's going on? My body going numb? <laughs> I told you something a long time ago, but it seems you forgot. I don't just tame beasts, but insects as well. This little guy is known as Narby, and his sting can paralyze. When did you do that? I tamed it in the middle of our fight. While dodging your attacks, I sent out thought waves, tracked down the creature I wanted, and forged a remote temporary contract. How? Oh, it is impossible. You were wrong when you decided to judge beast tamers as useless. It's over, Arios. You lost. Sorry to say, I'm still pissed at you for mocking Kanade and Tanya. They are my friends, you know. Wait, please. I may have been wrong about a few things here and there, but Rain, think about it. We were friends too, remember? Weren't we? Well? <sighs> All right, I get it. I surrender to you. Please just forgive me. Spare me. This thing ends. Rain, please. Right now. <laughs> just so you know. If I really hit you, you'd be dead. Consider this a warning. <laughs> Why does revenge always get such a bad rap? I gotta say, it feels pretty good. Rain! Huh? <laughs> Kanade! Tanya! Woods everyone keeps talking about? I don't know. They're a lot gloomier than I imagined. Definitely. 
It's even dark in the afternoon. Uh, the trees could hardly block the light if we burn them all to the ground. Tanya, have you gone crazy? These woods aren't tender. They're home to dozens of species. Oh, it was just a joke. Now, shouldn't that relic be around here? It is. They say it's hidden deep inside the forest and only usable by the hero. <gasps> Supposedly, the Lost Woods are ever-expanding and constantly changing. So what's the point of using the map Arios gave us? I bet this thing's totally useless now. Is any shield important enough to go through all this trouble? Yeah, this one is. And it happens to be our current job. Rain? Sorry we were mean to you. Is that what you low-life knuckleheads call an apology? I don't believe a word you said. At least try to say it like you mean it! Please, we're so sorry! I still can't hear you! We're sorry for what we did! What do you think? Should we forgive him? Why not? It's all out of my system. What do you say? Should we put this stuff behind us? Uh, Any takers? <laughs> Very well, I humbly accept your truce on behalf of the entire party. Now let us discuss the relic. Deep in the heart of the Lost Woods, savage monsters guard the Shield of Truth. Unfortunately, we need it to defeat the Demon King. Which is why we must acquire it as swiftly as possible. For me, the true hero to use in my quest. The fate of the entire world hangs in the balance. And the way I see it, you don't have much of a choice in this situation. Is he giving us orders? He doesn't yeah. really sound that sorry! Uh, all right, calm down, you two. Uh, Let's take the job. It'll be fine. Uh, Maybe I didn't think this one through. Bane, are you sure you really want to help that hero? He's clawful. I don't like this idea one bit. I'm not a fan either. We don't need their help anyway. I can beat the Demon King myself, with or without some dumb shield. And I'm not saying that because I'm worried about you or anything. Yeah, Rain. Is this what you want? <laughs> Is there a reason you're rubbing our heads? Sorry, I guess it's just a reflex. Well... That's all right. When I see you guys defend my honor, it makes me really happy. And it means a lot. <gasps> really? But I think we need to help Arios. He's the only one who can defeat the Demon King. Mm hmm? Regardless, sorry I dragged you into this mess. I've come this far with you. Besides, you're too nice as it is. So as your friend, it's my duty to get you out of this creepy forest. Me too! And through it all, you have been able to stay true to your heart. That's so sweet. Thank you. For real. <laughs> now who's ready to pounce in and grab that shield? Well, that map is useless, isn't it? We need a strategy before we go. Yeah, you're right. It probably wouldn't be the best idea to fumble our way through this job, huh? Hang on. I have an idea. I'll assimilate with this little guy like I did before. It'll be helpful to get a bird's eye view of the forest. While I do that, I'll need you two guys to keep an eye on my body. You got, you got it. it! All right, I'll be back before you know it! Don't get Ian! I won't! Man, this forest goes on forever. But I can see the path from up here, even though it's mostly hidden. Should be able to find a route to the heart of the forest. for a long time. Yeah, is it much farther? <sighs> uh oh, the yellow stone. Didn't we leave it there earlier so we could find our way back? For sure. Uh... Now we're back at square one. We know, we're not blind. Well, did we possibly take the wrong path? I don't know, seems unlikely <gasps> to me. When I double checked the route with the other birds, they verified it. If I was wrong, surely they would have said so and pointed me in the right direction. Yeah, I'm not sure the route is our problem here. I think there's more to these woods than meets the eye. Huh? Hang on. Let me see what I can find. Material search! Whoa. No way. These lights... 
follow me. Look what I found. We kept getting lost because of this tree. Its illusionary magic is spilling into the woods. I have never heard of that magic. It's used to create an expansive magical field so powerful it can permeate the brains of its targets. It then manipulates the victim's audiovisual processing. In other words, we've been under the influence of a spell that's caused us to do nothing but walk in circles for the last several hours. Well, more of a barrier than a spell, since it's so massive. Hmm, it all makes sense now. I'm happy to hear that. Now kick down this tree, would you? <sighs> but why? Oh, because you're obsessed. Certainly not. I'm no monster, thank you very much. Everybody take a deep breath. This tree is the source of the magical barrier. If we destroy it, we should be freed from its influence. Oh, I get it. Uh, Tanya? Uh, yeah? Is there any way we can just nullify the magic barrier? You know, without destroying the tree? It's incredibly powerful. I suppose I could try, but the process may take a long time. I see. But if we're too late, the heroes are gonna pick on you again. Not on my watch. Not today, no, sir. The scratching post is gone! Wait, don't do it! Nah! Hey, did, did you hear that voice? Leave this place now. Leave this place now. Leave this place now. Leave this place now. No way! We found a fairy! <sighs> She's an ultimate species like Kanade and Tanya. A spellcaster with stronger magic than a dragonoid. But as far as I know, humans haven't encountered one for at least 200 years. They call the mountains and forests home. And because humans exploit their lands for resources, the fairies view us as mortal enemies. When tensions quickly became war, the fairies retreated to the hinterlands, a place far enough away that the humans couldn't find them. And now, for good reason, fairies distrust humans and hold them in contempt. Hello there. We didn't mean to- Leave this place now. Uh, I was hoping we could ask a few- Leave this place now. My name is Rain, and these are my two good friends. Leave this place now. Look, we're actually trying to find something deep in the- Leave this place now. If you continue to refuse, I'll drag you out of here myself. <laughs> we'll come back later. I could have sworn she was right on our tails. I think we're safe. I can't believe it. What's her deal? She was threatening us before we had a chance to do anything. I thought fairies were supposed to be the warm and welcoming ultimate species. Well, it's strange that she even showed herself. It would be one thing if it were just the two of you. But with a human in the group, a fairy wouldn't reveal herself under most any circumstances. You think something else is going on? Yeah. I could be wrong, but I bet it's because we interfered with the barrier. She did reveal herself when Kanade tried to break the tree. I only did that because you said it was the only way for us to break the barrier. Hold on. Wasn't that route supposed to lead us to the monster with the shield of truth, but instead took us to the magic tree? But when I tried to kick down the tree, the fairy interrupted us and asked us to leave. It's very unusual. Is her hatred for humans so overwhelming that she's willing to cooperate with monsters? Look, scary fairy motives are cool, but we're kind of in a hurry, aren't we? I think we should just melt that stupid barrier and move on. Huh? This first encounter, she caught us off guard, but I can keep her spell casting at bay. While I do that, Kanade will go destroy the tree. I got it! This way we can avoid hurting her. You can agree to that, right? Uh, mm, mm, honestly, I'd rather try to have a conversation with her again. Ah! You can't do that! Clearly her only interest is dragging you out of the forest! Yeah, she's right! That doesn't sound safe at all! I'd like to avoid the use of force if possible. Besides, we were kind of defensive back there ourselves, weren't we? Mm. If we approach without hostility, I think we can work it out. <gasps> Rain is just... I know, he's too he nice for his, his own, own good. good. Leave this place. I promise we're not enemies. We just want to talk to you. 
Leave this place now. We didn't come into your forest to cause trouble. We're just here to do a job, and then we'll go away. I'm warning you, if you don't leave... Go ahead and attack me all you want. If that helps build trust between us, I'll accept the consequences. All I ask is that you don't hurt my friends behind me. Rain! Wait! If that's the case, prepare for rude awakening. <laughs> hey! It's all right. I can endure one attack. And I won't give up no matter what. I'm a beast tamer. It's in my blood. I've been in countless situations where I couldn't communicate with words. But I know. If you engage in good faith, your intentions will push through. It truly works. Uh, illusion arrow! Uh, why is she running away? It's like I said. All I'm trying to do here is talk to you. You're allowing me to hurt you without fighting back in an attempt to earn my trust? I don't understand. Are you truly a human as your appearance suggests? Same as those greedy monsters that invaded, defiled, and trampled the land we once called home? Yes, I am. But not all of us are the monsters you remember. There are plenty of good humans whose hearts are open and kind. I can't promise I'm perfect, but in time, I hope to earn your trust. I will not be deceived. <sighs> all lies! Hey, what are you doing? We couldn't just stand there. Even if you asked us to stay back, we'll still defend you. She's right, I couldn't take it. Besides, your little peace talks aren't working. Listen to me. You should give him a chance. Reina's one of the kindest souls I know. He didn't have to, but he chose to save me when I was in danger. And there were others, like the people in the city, an old man, and uh... Exactly. I, as a Supreme Dragonoid, vouch for him as well. And for your information, he rejected an offer to destroy the forest from the start. Right! And when Tanya wanted to burn the whole forest down, he got really upset. You know I was joking, right? But when you tried to destroy the tree, who stopped you? Rain, of course! That's not fair! You're the one who told me to do it in the first place! Correct me if I'm wrong, but you still wanted to do it. I... that's beside the point. Oh, so it was so yeah. curious human indeed. And in the company of even curious her companions, it seems. I've never met creatures quite like you. Not in all my years. No. What's your name? It's Rain Shroud. I'm known as Sora. But listen to what you have to say, Rain Shroud. I understand. You're here because you seek the shield of truth in the hero's stead. That's what brought you to this forest. Correct? That's correct, but the illusionary magic is holding us back. It was I who erected the magical barrier. <laughs> Would you be willing to take it down to let us through? I can't do that. The barrier serves to hide the entrance to the fairy's village from would-be intruders. And I will not expose my brethren to danger. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were covering for a monster. I am not. Nor is there any monster in this forest protecting the shield of truth. Huh? <gasps> All that exists in the depths of this forest is passage to our village, and it is none other than the fairies themselves who protect the shield. How is that possible? Wait, is there no monster after all? No, I'm pretty sure someone fed that brain-dead hero some faulty info. Yeah? If the shield is required to vanquish the Demon King, it's yours. Please, give me a moment. Sure about this? I am, though I may despise humans. My hatred for monsters runs far deeper. Wow, I did not see that coming. Yeah! We did it! So, is there anything I can do to say thank you? That won't be necessary. Oh. Passing along the Shield of Truth is an ancient tradition to uphold a pact once made between the fairies and the previous hero. I merely fulfilled my obligation. Is that true? Yes. I deserve no thanks. Well, you heard the girl. No need to thank her. I'm sure it's all good. We finished our job without burning a thing. Let's hurry up and get back to the city to hand it over. Yeah, sure thing. I'll be right behind you. Thank you. Now that your business here is done, leave this place. Uh, right. Uh. Oh, Rainy, can I please, please, please hold the shield now? Of course. Just don't break it. I won't, I swear. Nya, nya, nya. 
What's wrong? Hey, Sora. Uh, there's something bothering you, isn't there? Uh, I can't explain how, I know. I just kind of got this feeling. Even if it seems insignificant, I'd be happy to listen. And you did grab the Shield of Truth for us, so go ahead. This could well be the only chance I get to properly thank you. I guess the truth is... Maybe I... Well, I don't know. No, I can't. If I reveal the truth... He'll surely try to help me. They could all end up getting hurt. No, no. It's nothing. I don't mind. <sighs> Even if it's dangerous, you can still tell me. If you're in trouble, I want to help you. Well, will you let me? No, really. That's just who he is. <gasps> Honestly, it's kind of disgusting. He's a little too nice, if you ask me. But hey, what have you got to lose? Why not give us a chance? But... Cat got your tongue? For what it's worth, I think you should do it. Oh, don't worry about us. I promise. We're a lot stronger than we let on. If you tell us what's happening, I think we could really help you. <gasps> I guess, having deemed you worthy of my trust, it's time I tell you everything. I have a twin sister, younger by a hair. Her name is Runa, and though her personality is quite the opposite of mine, we remain very close. I can't express how precious she is to me. In truth, there are multiple pathways leading to the fairy's village. This may surprise you, but they can be found all over the world. When we were together, Runa and I helped maintain the barrier that had protected the Lost Woods. It's important, but dull work. But with Runa by my side, there was an abundance of joy to be found. Until one day, for one reason or another, we were compelled to leave the barrier for a brief time. It was then... We encountered a monster in service of the Demon King. As we swiftly attempted retreat, it pursued, and we were forced to fight back. Unfortunately, we failed to defeat it. And Runa... She was taken prisoner. It was too powerful for fairies to defeat? The monster in question was a Shadow Knight. I see. That explains it. I don't understand. Tell me what you mean. A Shadow Knight is a C-rank monster, so it shouldn't be able to beat an ultimate species. But it does have one important trick up its sleeve. When it fights, it can nullify all magical attacks. So in other words, only physical attacks are effective against them. And since fairies specialize exclusively in spellcasting, it was a bad match from the beginning. I wondered what sort of monster could possibly take down a couple of fairies. That explains it all right. Yes, the Shadow Knights intend to eliminate any ultimate species that might pose a threat to them. He ordered me to lower the barrier, and in exchange he would then release Bruna. As difficult as it was, I refused to give in and endanger the rest of my brethren. I knew that I was powerless to save her on my own, so I begged our village leader for assistance. But instead of rendering aid, he encouraged me to abandon her. We must celebrate the livelihoods of those living safely within the barrier. It was you who erred by leaving the barrier safety. You must own the consequences of your actions. That's so awful. Unacceptable. I understand our leader's reasoning. His priority is to ensure the safety of fairy society as a whole over that of my sister. I understand that. But I... I just can't. It's not right. I'm simply unable to justify abandoning my own sister. <laughs> you know, what you've done is hard. You've been enduring all that pain alone. But you can rest easy. Because we're here now. And I promise we will save her. And we'll do it without exposing your people to danger. We will defeat the Shadow Knight. Completely. We can make it happen, if we work together.
There's no time to spare. The Shadow Knight demanded that I remove the barrier before sundown tonight. He said if I refuse, my sister will die. Tonight, huh? We'll need to hurry. Where is he now? Just over there. You'll find my sister Runa as well. Right, thanks. We'll take it from here. But you can't go without me. If he realizes the deal's off, I'm afraid he'll take it out on your sister. I know how hard this must be, but could you stay here and wait for us? Mm, sure. You've proven worthy of my trust. Please. Fight well, Rain. I see him. <laughs> All right. Just like we planned. Right. Duh. Three, two, <laughs> one. spell I know. It's really simple. The spell grants a major boost to your natural abilities, but it's only temporary. My physical abilities? That's right. 
I didn't have the magic capabilities to use it in the past, but that all changed when I bonded with Tanya. As reckless as ever, I see. Tanya! She all right? She's just unconscious, no need to worry. But boy, you've got some explaining to do. I was under the impression that Boost was a lost spell. How did you manage to learn such rare magic? I don't know what to tell you. I just learned it in my home village, I guess. <laughs> meow, meow! The only thing that matters is that it helped us save Sora's little sister. <laughs> so let's stop catfighting and strike a sweet victory pose. Those are some interesting <laughs> it's moves. A victory dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hi there. How are you feeling? Where am I? Who are you? We're your sister's friends. She asked us to save you. Don't worry, you're safe. Oh, she did? Really? Runa, thank goodness. Can this be real? Did the Shadow Knight hurt you? I'm fine, promise. <laughs> Friends, you saved Runa's life. How can I ever repay your kindness? Thanks a ton, you guys. No need to thank me. I'm just glad she's all right. But Rain, without your timely aid, who knows what might have happened to her? Yeah, without you, I could have been put in some real danger. I bet I could have been exposed to all sorts of nasty, unseemly, inappropriate business, Mr. Rain. Huh? Uh, bet you're thinking about it, huh? Those male instincts probably have you feeling all sorts of stuff. Oh my goodness, Runa! You're being utterly outrageous right now! Ah, sis. You know I'm always working real hard. I think a little outrageousness is just what the doctor ordered. I simply cannot agree with or condone such flamboyant statements. They look exactly the same. But they really are polar opposites. I'm just glad we were able to save her. Sora seems so much happier already. This is nice. Now you can live together in peace again. <sighs> well, I fear we must leave this place. While I understand our village leader's reasoning, I cannot live amongst those who abandon Runa in her hour of need. I wish to distance myself from them. I understand. Whatever you do, be careful out there. We may have defeated the Shadow Knight, but the forest is full of monsters like him. Yeah, damsel in distress just isn't my thing. But I worry that we have spent so many years as Shuddens here, we just don't know much about the real world. Perhaps Shuddens is a little excessive, though I admit I share your concerns. Well, in that case, why go exploring alone when you can tag along with us? Huh? Wait, really? It's gotta mean something that we ran into you, right? Tanya, you'd agree, wouldn't you? I can't argue with you there. But it's not my call. Our fearless leader should make that decision. Um, really, it's up to you two. Would you both be willing to join a party with a human? <laughs> well, meeting you taught me that the world isn't always quite what it seems, and that some humans are noble, though I may have difficulty trusting others. I do feel that you are worthy of companionship. <laughs> Sorry. If Miss Pris thinks that you're friendship fodder, then I don't mind handing you the reins and appointing you as Prime Navigator. Is there a place to appoint him, Runa? <laughs> I mean, only if Rain wouldn't mind showing us around. Actually, I'd love it if you join us. You truly mean it? I guess that makes us best friends now. I have but one request. Form a bond with us! <gasps> as I understand it, Kanji and Tanya both have a contract with you. We too would like to aid you on your journey. Yep. Are you sure this is what you want? Yes. Without you, we wouldn't be standing here. Taming fairies? Who would have thought? While it may be true that every species is tamed roughly the same way, the baseline magic used in the spell differs from beast to beast. I'm familiar with that baseline for animals and insects, but fairies? They're beyond my understanding. Like solving a puzzle where I couldn't see the pieces. Mm. Come on, you already throwing in the towel? <gasps> I know you'd never flat out give up like that. Ugh. Would you, Master? We know you can do it. We believe in you. Uh, guess it won't hurt to try. <gasps> if I build up the wrong baseline of magic when forming the contract, my words won't be able to connect with the soul of my target, and the bond will fail. What type of magical foundation should I build? Think. Whatever it is, it'll have to resonate with Sora and Runa. My name 
is Rain Shroud. In establishing this new contract, a bond is formed. An oath in our hearts and hope in our souls. Your power in my hand. Speak now. Say your name. complete? Yeah, it is. And I'm pretty sure it worked. Sis, look! There's a symbol on our hands. <sighs> See, you did it! Of course! I never doubted you for a second. <gasps> Whoa. Contracting with two ultimate species at once is pretty exhausting. <gasps> <gasps> wow. Thanks for catching me, guys. You feeling all right? Yeah. Just a little dizzy is all. Don't be shy. You can lean on us. We're here to help. It's our job now. You look pretty awesome to, to have you on our team. team. Thank you, Master. I don't know. Is it a good idea to let him go in alone? Is this not the cruel hero that fired Rain from his party? <sighs> That's him, all right. But Rain asked us to wait here even if we don't like his stupid plan one bit. After our last run-in, I'm worried the hero might not be too thrilled to see us and get cranky. Play him, Schman. If anything happens to Rain, we're going in there. Works for me. Right. Here's the shield of truth. <gasps> <gasps> Is something wrong? Uh, shield of truth, huh? You only embarked on this journey two days ago. Do you expect me to believe you found it that quickly? Yeah. We really did it in just two days. You liar! We searched the Lost Woods for over a week and found nothing! <clears throat> don't, don't tell me you brought us a fake knockoff! No way, but if that's what you think, check it out. I'll cast appraisal magic. Yes, please do. <sighs> it's genuine. Really? You're kidding me! How were they able to find it so quickly? <clears throat> What's that? Are those new faces? Goodness, they look like children. Who they are is none of your business. <laughs> to be safe, I ask them to hide their wings. If word gets out that there are fairies in a human settlement, there could be widespread panic. Where's the reward you promised? <sighs> I see. Straight to the money talk, huh? <laughs> Twenty gold coins, as we agreed. Since the job's complete, we done? Yes. Now, I don't have to deal with him or his party ever again. Hey, Rain. Wait. <laughs> Would you rejoin the hero's party? <gasps> what the heck are you doing? You don't have my permission to make that request! I know it's my own idea, but you should consider it. Our recent difficulties have made it clear to me. We need his help. <laughs> While we struggled for over a week with no progress in the Lost Woods, he cleared it in a couple of days. <laughs> I'll admit, doing the whole scouting thing without him is a total drag. I guess I don't hate the idea. Considering what likely lies ahead, a compromise may be in our best interest. You can't possibly object, can you? If I promise good pay and better treatment than before, what do you say? We'll welcome you back to the party as a friend, then start the journey where we left off. You're not getting hung up on our little misunderstanding, right? <laughs> little misunderstanding? I understood perfectly. You people haven't changed at all. Still can't be trusted. How could I ever have seen them as my friends? I was a fool. Not anymore. Wayne! <gasps> Enough of this. Let's go! Come on, Slowpoke. We're waiting for you. Hmm. You're turning me down? Come help us defeat the Demon King. You'll rank up, achieve fame, and gain riches beyond your wildest dreams. It's fine. I don't need all that. Honestly, ever since I was little, my aspirations have always been the same. 
What I really wanted. The things I dreamed of. I'm lucky enough to have it all right here. <laughs> on a mission to defeat the Demon King, and he's nothing like us. <laughs> Arios, do you agree? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's correct. The kid's quite the fool. He's abandoning us, and his only real chance at glory. Do we even need that stupid guy? Hell no! Exactly. We simply wasted our time asking. But still, the pain I felt in that moment... No, not just the pain. But the humiliation, the hatred, it won't go away so easily. Me, the hero, beaten by that scum! <laughs> He's a dead man. If it's the last thing I do, I will tear him to shreds! Tell me, is the hero the only one who can defeat the Demon King? <gasps> yeah, glad that I wasn't the only one wondering. What do you think, Rain? Let's see... According to the old legends, the Demon King used his limitless power to control everyone. And while under his spell, no one could turn against him. The first hero made a contract with the gods to defeat the Demon King, and was blessed with the gift of their blood. With that flowing through his veins, he now had the power of the gods. He beat the Demon King, freed the people, and brought peace to the world. And that's the legend of the hero. That first hero sounds great. Totally, unlike the current model. <laughs> the blood of the gods is what separates the hero from an ordinary person. Most people are limited in how much they can grow and improve. No matter how hard they train, they'll never actually be strong enough to defeat the Demon King. But the hero is different. The divine blood in his body means he can surpass the limits of a normal person, allowing him to train endlessly and keep gaining strength until he reaches a certain point where he's strong enough to take on the Demon King, the Limit Break. A power needed to defeat him, and only the hero can use it. But that hero was pretty darn wimpy. Right now, yeah. But as he continues to grow without limits, he'll get strong enough to beat him. If I may, what about you? Are you not the same as the hero in this regard, Rain? Uh-huh. You forged a contract with Kanade and gained the Cat Spirit's physical prowess. Then you bonded with Tanya and gained the Dragonoid's magical superiority. And then you forged a contract with us! Which means you now have the ability to use our fairy magic mm -hmm. too! With every contract you forge, you're acquiring new powers and growing stronger than you were before. Yeah! And you definitely surpass the limits of an ordinary human for sure. It doesn't take a fairy to notice that! Is this not a limit break ability similar to the hero in your fables? They may be right. Here's a thought! What if Rain forged contracts with even more ultimate species than just us, and kept getting stronger and stronger? I'll bet he could become strong enough to defeat the Demon King! Whoa, well, don't get ahead of yourself. She's right, though. Huh? Much better than leaving it to that lousy hero. Sounds great to me! As a human and a savior, I find you far preferable to that hero. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Rain, please. Don't you want to turn the Demon King into kibble? Take on the Demon King? In my old party, that was our ultimate objective. When they kicked me out, that goal and all my responsibilities vanished. I'm having a lot of fun with Kanade and the others right now. But if I could... To be honest, if I knew I could get strong enough, I would do it in a heartbeat. All right! That said, this isn't like our other jobs. We're talking about the Demon King. It's more than a quest, and it shouldn't be taken lightly. Countless lives depend on getting this right. I'm still not mentally prepared. Not... just yet. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not strong enough to make this decision on the fly. I mean, I've only made it this far because I had the help from you guys. No, we're sorry. We weren't thinking about how it would affect you. Oh, it's fine. I don't mind thinking about it at all. There's no time like the present. <laughs> I need to face my fear. And surely after that, I'll be able to make up my mind. Good idea. I'll wait patiently for your decision. Yeah, same. Yep. But remember, no matter what you decide, there's one thing that'll never change. <gasps> the important fact that all of us are right by your side. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what move to make next. Or what goal I 
should strive toward. But the time to choose my path and seal my fate may be closer than ever. You think I need new equipment? Well, yeah, I've told you a bunch of times. You're so much stronger since forging your contract with me, but you still have the same gear. So I need equipment that's better suited for my power. Hmm. Whoa! <gasps> Whatever they are seasoning this soup with is really tasty. Now I'm wondering what their secret is. Runa, you know better than to be shouting at the table like this. Mm. And you're making a mess. You know what? You're right. And we do have some money in the bank after that Arios job. I'm in, so let's do it. <laughs> It'll help me protect my team better. Not good. There's so many humans out here. If they find out we're fairies, who knows what they'll do, so be on the lookout, sis. Yes, well, don't you worry one bit, Runa. Because I swear on my life that this time, I'll do whatever it takes to keep you safe and sound. Relax, you guys. It's not like all of us humans are bad, I promise. I will take you at your word. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to get used to this. Fairies really kind of live like shut-ins, you know. Didn't I ask you that you not call us shut-ins? Miss Tanya, <laughs> nice to see you again. I've beaten you two up before, haven't I? Yup. On Stride Bridge, <laughs> I gotta admit, getting wrecked by a girl was pretty humiliating at first. But you're a dragon, so... <laughs> uh, uh, what it means is, those bruises and broken bones are like a badge of honor. We just wanted to let you know and pay our respects. <laughs> Well, once you've sharpened your skills, maybe we can arrange to have another little tussle. <laughs> we won't let you down! Good morning, ma'am! Huh? My, my, aren't you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed today? Here, take this. Oh my goodness, are you sure, though? <laughs> of course I am! Mm -hmm. It's the least I can do for all the help you've given me. <laughs> That's so sweet! How did they both assimilate so easily? Right? I wish we were as brave as they are. <laughs> <laughs> What are you one of us, child? We're not afraid to fight kids, so back off! Well, Rain, it looks like you picked up a couple more wives. <laughs> What's it like to be Rain's wife? I'm afraid you have the wrong idea. We're not his wives. That sure made you blush a lot, huh? You two are so pretty. Are you flower spirit? Pretty? Um, thank you, human child. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good eye, girly, I'll give you that. <laughs> but mistaking us for flower spirits? Foolish child, behold the depth of my sorcery. <gasps> I am an ultimate wielder of magic, a proud fairy! <laughs> I can't believe you guys stopped me. Those little brats were practically begging me to school them. You're the one who said we had to be extra careful not to show the humans that we're fairies, remember? But as soon as your pride gets insulted, all that goes out the window as usual. It's all right. Getting accustomed to life here is gonna take a little bit of time is all. Hey, is that it? Huh? The best weapon shop in the city, or so they say. Nothing but the best for our fearless leader. Let's go shopping. What do you want? <sighs> Problem? You look like you've never seen a dwarf before. Yeah, of course we have. We just came in to try and find some new equipment. Hurry up, then. I don't have all day. Mr. Shopkeeper's a bit intimidating, isn't he? Dwarves are kind of notorious for being cranky little guys. <laughs> Dwarves are also notorious for being the best blacksmiths in the world. Hey, Rain! Huh? What about this bad boy? A whip? Runa, I do not believe that sort of weapon would suit him. Can you just imagine our tamer with it? Do exactly what I say or I'm gonna give it to you. Is it great because he can use it for other stuff? I'm talking like unspeakable stuff. Unspeakable stuff? Stop being so impure! He never do such things! Looks like you're blushing again. Are you embarrassed by your dirty mind? No, no, no! <laughs> you think you're Rain might have to whip you, sis! Please get her off me! This is really starting to hurt! Hey, this one looks good. Really? Surely you deserve a weapon with a little more size to it. I'm more familiar with these types of weapons. So pretty! Something about this dagger feels off. It looks fine, but... Hey there! I hear you've got the best weapon shop in town. I'm looking for the finest weapon that money can buy. This should be enough to cover it. Looks like enough. My finest weapon. <gasps> this 
thing is sweet! I could wreck some monsters with this! Thanks, little guy! Of course. <laughs> Meow! Did you catch how beautiful that sword is? What's wrong? Excuse me, sir. The sword that you just sold that guy? There's no way that's the best weapon you have here. <gasps> you calling me a liar? Now, don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful sword. But the way it looks has nothing to do with how well it holds up in combat. And it's not just that one. I don't think any of these would last in a real fight. Uh -huh. <sighs> I wonder, is any of this your best work? Uh -huh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> That's some keen eye you got there, kid. Ain't no fooling you. This is all stuff I whip up to make quick coin off the guys that wouldn't know a good sword if I stabbed them with it. So basically, you're just ripping people off here, huh? How shocking. I had no idea dwarves could be so devious. Although they may be half ours, they're still born of actual dwarven craftsmanship, which makes them worth every last bit of coin I charge. That said... <gasps> They're mere toys compared to these. The ones I really pour my heart into. They're even more impressive than I ever imagined. If you can make weapons this incredible, why would you deceive your customers like that? I know it's not right, but I can't bring myself to sell these to every schmuck with some coin. No one cares about the craftsmanship behind what they're wielding these days. They're always just looking for the next best thing they can get their grubby little paws on. And if they do purchase a weapon I'm truly proud of, they toss it aside when they find something shinier. That kind of disrespect takes a toll on a person. <sighs> a true weaponsmith puts a piece of himself inside every weapon he makes. They're like his children. Is it selfish to want them to go to someone truly worthy? <sighs> Don't really smell what you're cooking. Hmm? I mean, it just makes sense. A high-quality weapon demands a high-quality wielder. Uh, my point exactly. I'm actually They're like kid and kin, aren't they? Well, they do have a healthy self-esteem in common, I suppose. All right. I want you to tell me something. How do you know those weren't the best weapons I had to offer? Yeah. To the naked eye, these are fine enough to fool almost everyone. What tipped you off? Honestly, I'm not entirely sure, but maybe it has something to do with the fact that I'm a beast tamer? Oh. Taming an animal takes some skill. We have to observe it closely so we can connect with it, almost see its soul. I must have just started doing that with everything in my life. It's kind of a blessing and a curse. I see. Perhaps your vocation is related. But Rain isn't your average beast tamer. He's one of a kind. He's the cat's meow. Hmm? Hey, guys, what are you muttering about over there? You'll understand someday. You're freaking me out. I like you, kid, and I would be proud to make a personalized weapon for you. Wow, really? That's so nice! Yeah. A high-quality weapon for a high-quality guy. You would be truly unbeatable. Our hero! Think of all the big, <laughs> scary things uh, you could kill. This is one teensy, tiny <laughs> issue. Huh? I don't have the right material to craft one. Huh? So many people at the job board today. And they seem excited about something. Hmm, hmm. hey, Natalie! Kana Day! So good to see you, friend. Yeah, likewise. You wouldn't happen to know why everyone's so eager to pounce today? You haven't heard yet? <laughs> the heroes party is staying on Horizon! The recruiting members to kill the Demon King! <sighs> Not those jerkwads again. I mean, sure, it's just the support party, but being a part of the team that defeats the Demon King, that's sure to bring fame and fortune. Rain. Rain. <laughs> uh. I don't care about that. I have you guys now. All right. <sighs> you haven't introduced us yet. Who are these cuties? Oh, you mean us? I'm Sora. Nice to meet you. And I'm Runa. What's your name, human woman? Well, my name is Natalie, and I work here. Are you friends of Brains? Kinda. Listen, our relationship is so much deeper than just friendship. He knows us inside and out and all around. Ah! Brains, are you serious? What are you doing? They're so young. No, wait, Natalie! Oh. 
<laughs> this isn't what it looks like. I'll never they're, understand they're, humans, but they're so God. funny. Don't laugh at him. Regardless, I'd like to take this job today, if you don't mind. Let's take a look. I see that this here is an official request. To help locate and acquire mithril ore for the weaponsmith, Gantz. It seems he named you, specifically. Hmm. If I'm to craft a truly great weapon for you, I'm going to need an ore known as mithril. Mithril? Yes, indeed. The legends say a weapon crafted from mithril is strong enough to last forever. But of course, it's practically impossible to find. True, but I was fortunate enough to acquire a mine that was passed down from my ancestors. So I've always had a rather ample supply of it on hand. You must be rich! But recently, I haven't been able to find a scrap in the entire place, as if it vanished overnight. Is it possible that you mined it all? No, I don't think that's the case. If he had exhausted the vein, he would have seen a gradual decline. It wouldn't have just disappeared, you know? That makes sense. It's strange. Things like that just don't happen, so there must be some explanation for it. I wish I knew why, because as it stands, I can't craft my finest weapons. My apologies. We already know what you want to do. Just say the uh, word, boss. It's written on your face. There's no reason to hold back on our account. We are a team, and teams stick together. You've got to believe in all of us, Rain. And you've got to believe in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> then it's settled. So what's it gonna be, kid? If you are open to it, sir, we would like to investigate your mine. Really? It's just so suspicious. There's no way it's a coincidence. If we're lucky, we can find out what happened. Maybe you can. But know that danger might be waiting for you every step of the way. Danger's just part of the job for adventurers like us. It's all right. Hmm. Perhaps our meeting is no mere coincidence. Very well, then. Consider yourselves hired. Thank you. Oh, my name's Rain Shroud. A pleasure to meet you, Rain. I'm Gantz Stoloff. Still gotta iron out a few things, like exactly how much gold you'd like in exchange for your services. <laughs> well, actually, I'd rather have you make me a weapon. Oh. Really? You covered one of my precious weapons over gold? Why, is that a bad thing? Not at all. It's the best thing ever. What a surprise. At first I thought Gans was a sourpuss. I mean, he is, but he's also as sweet as a kitten. Yeah, it's true. I want one of his weapons, but I want to help him out even more. Come on, you guys. Let's do it for old Gans. Yeah! yeah! It's great that the mine is so close to town. We barely had to pack anything at all. Perfect day for an adventure. It almost feels like we're going for a picnic. It's great. Right, guys? Oh. Looks like they're struggling a bit. Oh, oh, no, please don't worry about me, Rain. This is great. I'm really having fun. Why are you trying to sugarcoat the truth, Sora? This is going to kill me and it won't be quick. Yeah. Guys, please, don't let it take you down. Uh, sorry about this. Fairies are very powerful, but our stamina is a bit lacking. Oh, yeah? It's not like we could tell. Well, it is super hot and sunny today. It's all right. I think we're kind of close to... Yeah, it's a lake! How did you know this was here, Rain? Oh, I just spotted it when I was studying the map. Seemed like a nice place to take a break. What a great idea! Can we go swimming pretty, please? <laughs> That sounds amazing to me. The water's so nice. It is. Please, Rain. Come on. Uh, well, I don't want to get in your way, so if you guys want to take a dip and go right ahead. Hooray! Have fun. I'm going to gather up stuff and... Uh, Kamade, are you out of your mind? Uh, Rain's right here. Uh, uh, don't mind me. Sheesh. I guess I'm still not quite used to Kamade's wild streak yet. Mm -hmm. Hey there, you two. Will you help make sure the girls don't run into trouble while I'm asleep? <laughs> now, time for me to take a quick nap. <sighs> ah, this feels amazing! Right, Tania? Oh, yeah. It's so nice and cool. Hmm. Mm, something wrong? No, uh, it's just that um, I noticed we both have... 
such ample bosoms. Do we? You kidding? They're big old boulders! Not like ours! Uh, we deserve to have them, too. How do I make them bigger? Teach me your ways! I'm begging! It's not really something I can teach you. Yours are cute! <laughs> Prepared? 
Guess we're gonna go into the mine and check things out. We should probably assume they know we're here already. You're right. But how could they possibly know that? Looks like they've got an eye in the sky watching us right now. Huh? The movements of that bird earlier... ...lead me to believe... ...there's a beast tamer among them. We sent those guys out there a long time ago. Think something happened? They got beat. Huh? What now? Well, we can't afford to be exposed. So we'll crush them. <sighs> Please stay alert. I thought my 
abilities were nothing special, but she always told me otherwise. My friends taught me that I was able to do things no one else was capable of. And I trust them. Finish him! I believe in my own strength. Uh, rain! What? <laughs> Behemoth, what are you doing? I told you to kill him! What the hell? Why isn't he ripping you up right now? I made a new contract and tamed it for myself. In other words, I overwrote your control of the behemoth. What? You overwrote his control? It's normally impossible to steal control from another tamer. But I thought, if I'm really as strong as my friends tell me, then maybe I should give it a real shot. I've never heard of anyone taking control of someone else's tame. Rain is really incredible. There's no way. You can't steal someone else's tame. I'm a top-ranked beast tamer, and I'm the one who found this behemoth and raised it! Get out there and fight! I'm your master, not him! Remember? Go on! Rip him to shreds! Don't provoke it! You need to stop this now! Listen to me! Kill him! Kill him already! To yourself, you couldn't remove all of its hostility. It was barely under control, and your own rage caused it to go into a frenzy. It's a shame, but I know this was the only way. <laughs> Rain. We interrogated the other ore thieves and found that they had one thing in common. They'd all bought weapons from Gaunts. But the ones they bought were the shoddy display models. And when other adventurers started giving them a hard time about the quality of their gear, they decided to get back at him by stealing his mithril so he couldn't make any more weapons. And with it, his pride and soul as a craftsman. That's why they stole my ore, huh? It is. That's hard to hear. By putting my own weapons on a pedestal, I decided that the average man wasn't worthy enough to wield my wares. I should make all my weapons with the same passion, regardless of the buyer. And yet, I chose to be dishonest with my weapons and my customers by judging so harshly. I am an utter failure as a craftsman. Yeah, you might be. Huh? Me? How? Whoa, easy there. So, make it right. But how? All of us make mistakes. Now you acknowledge it, and move on by putting your passion back into your weapons. With the incredible talent that you have, and the love of the craft, I know you can make it right. Uh, I can't believe a youngster less than half my age is comforting me in my own shop. Oh, whoops. Sorry to overstep. No, you really opened my eyes. <laughs> From now on, I'll be more honest with my customers and my blades. It'll be a fresh start. <laughs> I'll work harder than I have my entire life. Oh, man, look at him all cheered up and ready. A wonderful ending, indeed. As a token of gratitude, I'll start by crafting you a weapon. What would you like? I know I want a dagger and a gauntlet if you're able. Oh? Just those two, eh? You sure that's all you want? Yeah, and if you wouldn't mind, I have a small idea for you. Oh. Well, that's quite an idea. Right? Give me some time and I'll make it so. Yeah, sure thing. So I was just thinking that now might be a good time to relax, friends. How does that sound? Sounds wonderful! You failed. <gasps> no, please wait. Why would you say that? I made all the requirements on your recruitment listing. Why did I fail? I need to know, please. Well, first of all, you claim to be a beast tamer. But you can only tame one creature at a time, right? Explain how you expect to run our supply line with one little beast. And apparently you have no useful combat abilities. Hiring you is out of the question. I'm telling you I'm really a beast tamer! I 
can tame a powerful creature like a bear, a wolf, or even something like a bird or a monkey to fight for me in combat when I need to. I see. But can you tame ultimate species or what? Uh, of course I can't tame an ultimate species, sir. That's not something anyone can do. It's impossible. Why would you even ask that? Because if you can't, you're nowhere as good as him. Him? You must be a capable fighter, as well as provide support for our supply line. Those are our minimum requirements. So I'm afraid you don't meet our desired qualifications. <sighs> Therefore, you failed. I'll just be going then. Next! Well, that was the last applicant. What an absolute bust. Why is everyone so worthless around here? It's a shame he turned that man away. He more than met the requirements for a support role, and he wasn't the only one. Throughout this process, we've had numerous competent hopefuls interview for the job. And he can't help but compare them all to Rain. Meanwhile, we're just sitting here, our journey stalled. Will we ever defeat the Demon King? Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Huh? You think maybe your search criteria is too strict? Mina, are you suggesting that your leader's judgment is mistaken? No, of course not. With Rain gone, he's taking out his frustrations on everyone, myself included. But I must endure. As a servant of God, it is my sworn duty. Yes, because he is the chosen hero. No, sir. I would never question your divine wisdom. You're right. I suppose we'll just have to hang out in the city a little longer than we expected. It's possible Lean and Augeth might find a good candidate. True indeed. We don't want to rush things after all. You know, I'm sure you're worn out from these interviews. Why don't you take a small rest? Thank you, sir. I hope that when the time comes, you'll rest as well. You're on an important mission to save the world. You'll certainly need it. <sighs> save the world, she says. <laughs> Before I do that, I've got another task to complete. I must use this ring... ...to put an end to rain. Rain! Why, hello there! Any questions today, or did you just want to see me? Well, I, uh... ...did have a question for you. What happened to those Orthes earlier? The ones that Gaunt's hired you to stop? They were stripped of their adventurer's licenses and sentenced to manual labor. Uh, don't you think that's kind of harsh? For ore theft and monster taming? Those are major crimes and they had other offenses too. Doesn't sound harsh to me. I see. <sighs> Rain! How'd it go? The thieves were harshly punished. Oh. Listen, there was never any doubt in my mind that you did the right thing. If you hadn't killed that behemoth, many innocent civilians could have been hurt. Yeah, plus we got the Mithril back and made Gaunt's happy. Everything just worked out. You know, I guess you're both right. Thanks, you two. <laughs> How about we go for a walk before heading back? Yes, please. Me first! Me! Are you serious? Oh, yeah. With 
Chonade and Tani in next time. Of course! <laughs> Can't hardly wait to rub it in their faces that they missed out. Runa? Oh no! We almost forgot! We were curious about something and wanted to ask you. Huh? huh? What's up? <laughs> what kind of new abilities did you receive through your contract with us? Abilities? Your physical prowess heightened after bonding with Kanade. <laughs> Your magic power increased by contracting with Tanya. So you had to get some sort of super boost through your contract with us, too. Well, do you feel different in any way? <laughs> Can't really say that I do. Magical repertoire. Oh, yeah, that's it. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he's received access to our ultimate magic now. Yes, indeed. Ultimate magic? Yeah, it's more powerful than advanced or epic magic. And we fairies are the only ones that can use it. It's the ultimate magic. Although we're unable to use it just yet. There's a good chance you can now, can't you? What do you think? Has the foundation for the spells you learned appeared in your mind? Sorry, I can't think of any new spells at the moment. What's wrong? It seems our contract has left our master empty and giftless. We're a couple of undesirable, worthless nobodies. We may be failed familiars. Oh, we are failed familiars. Whoa, you're not failures at all. I never judge my friends based on contracts or abilities. Even if you guys didn't give me a new big boost, I will always treasure having you as companions. So please... No more talk about being failures. Can I ask you, is there a reason you put so much of your faith in us? Huh? Even our village, the ones we tried to protect had abandoned us. And I mean, how could you blame them? We messed up pretty bad, so it makes sense that they would. It's sad to think about. But you chose to take us with you. Kanade and Tanya are strong. Our last job showed us that plain as day already have companions with unparalleled strength, but you still act like you need us. We really want to know why you want us here. Oh, all right. I guess I better tell you then. You remember me saying that I was kicked out of the heroes party? Yes, they fired you without so much as a warning. I've been thinking about it ever since, wondering why it didn't work out. Well, why didn't it? It wasn't entirely their fault. I didn't trust them either. Trust, you say? At the start of our adventure, I didn't have any confidence in myself at all. Maybe I was just afraid of Arios, worried that the hero might say he didn't need me. So I worked as hard as I could to be useful, but they still let me go. It was a pretty lonely party now that I think about it. You know? Maybe if I put more trust in them back in those days, some things might have been different. That's simply untrue! Come on, they're totally the bad guys! Maybe. It's not like I can go back in time anyway. Plus, right now, I've got some new friends that I want to spend time with. And I want to work hard to earn their trust. And? What about the two of us? <laughs> do you see us as your friends too? Yeah, I do. <sighs> You're both precious to me and I cherish your friendship, even if we don't share an ability. That's wonderful. I accept your answer. What about you? Yep. <laughs> All that sappy talk about loss and friendship made me hungry. I want to eat again. Huh? But you ate a delicious hot dog mere minutes ago. There's never enough hot dogs! That's fine. Let's round up both the girls and eat some lunch. Best day ever! <laughs> Let's get going. You might trip if you don't slow down. Seems like they're back to normal now. Thank goodness. Excuse me, you there. Huh? Huh? <gasps> what are your names, girls? Huh? Why do you want to know our names? I asked you a question. Do not make me repeat myself. Sora. I'm Runa. Ooh, what fine names you have. Sora and Runa. 
You look decent as well, and twins. <laughs> My, you'd make rather fruitful company. <laughs> I like you. Yes, I shall deign to make you both mine. <laughs> yes, I shall deign to make you both mine. That is a very bold assertion for a stranger. This human is truly terrifying. Yeah, he's a nut job. He can't think we'd go along with that. You dare speak to me that way? Enchanting. I'm even more inclined to make you mine now. Excuse me? You can't have them. Just who do you think you are? Huh. You're speaking to the Edgar from where? And I'm the son of the reigning Lord of Horizon, my friend. The Lord's son? Indeed. Offering yourselves to me will give you access to unparalleled luxury. Your request is denied. We already have a master, so just leave us alone, all right? Hmm. You have a simple choice in the matter. <laughs> You can hand them over willingly, or I'll just have to take them by force. Go ahead. You can try to take them, but I guarantee you will regret it. How sweet. Very well, then. Fetch them. Just how incompetent can you fools be? It's only one single foe. It's just not normal. He's so strong, I don't understand it. I would advise your men to stand down. You will never get your hands on Sora and Runa. <sighs> Very impressive. Perhaps another tactic would be more effective to get what I want. <laughs> How about this one? If you don't hand over the girls, every single one of these people will die. Are you kidding me? They're your own subjects. Yes, exactly. But all peasants are good for is serving their master. And this is how I desire to be served at the moment. Now give me my goodies, and they will be spared. They're spread out too far. Even if I tried, there's no way I'd be able to save them all. What do I do? I think we might be able to help. None of these people are aware that Runa and I possess magical powers. We can use them to help. If they use their magic, everyone will learn their fairies. And then we'll be forced to leave the city because of it. They'd be heartbroken. I can't do that. I need to find another way to protect them and save the townspeople. Huh? The magic circles? Fireball? But there was something else there this time. I wonder if it can help. We're just gonna have to find out. Time's up! Should my men begin the executions now, or have you finally come to your senses? It should be obvious. There's absolutely no way I'd let you hurt them or anybody else! Oh. <sighs> Here's a fireball! Huh? Multi-shot! <laughs> Consecutive incantation! The fairy skill that allows the user to cast a single spell multiple times simultaneously! <laughs> We're done here. So leave before I change my mind. <laughs> you would threaten me? You will soon regret this choice, for this act of defiance shall not be forgotten! Wait! Lord Edgar! Don't leave us! <sighs> I can't believe that actually just worked. Simply amazing! We would like to extend our deepest and most heartfelt gratitude, Master! You're the best ever! <laughs> Huh? Beast Tamer, what you did for us was just incredible! You sure taught that arrogant jerk a lesson! I was convinced we were going to die, but you saved us! You're like the hero, but likable! Thanks, but honestly, I don't know if I'd go that far. I'm just glad that all of you are safe now. And you managed to do it without giving up the girls. They're so sweet, I wouldn't have been able to bear it. Oh, that's so kind of you to say. Oh, hearing that kind of stuff has got me blushing! I must warn you, though, you need to leave this town. Get out of Horizon and get as far away as possible. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Boom! All the bad guys were blasted away thanks to consecutive incantation! Rain's awesome new super skill! What's my new super skill? I believe that we have finally discovered the capability 
you acquired from contracting with us. The bond that we now share has given you advanced control of fairy magic. So you think that's what happened? I mean, that would definitely make sense. The power of those fireballs was stronger than before. My aim definitely got better, too. It would appear that our contract has given you better control over the incredible powers afforded to you by your pact with Tanya, which means your magic potential has expanded significantly. In case everybody didn't hear that, Sora and I are officially excellent familiars now, just like Tanya and Kanade. You two always have been. You're right about that. I'm so grateful that everyone's all right. It's embarrassing. We were both asleep. We should have been there to help protect you guys. The townspeople are all terrified of him, and from what they tell me, he's pure evil. He kidnaps women and locks them up in his mansion, only to torture them. What kind of monster does things like that? And he just gets away with it. I don't understand how that's possible. Why hasn't anyone done anything about it? Because Edgar happens to be the town lord's only son. So then he uses his power and money to silence anyone who dares to speak out. No. Surely the Order of Knights already know this. Why haven't they both been arrested? The Knights investigated Edgar and his father, but they couldn't find any real evidence. And no one would talk, so it went nowhere. It's quite chilling, abusing their power and influence in such a way. That settles it, then. I'm gonna burn that mansion to the ground with him still in it. Wait, hold on a sec. You can't just rush in there, fireballs blazing. Why's that? I'm not gonna let that scumbag come after Sora and Runa again. Tanya. Enough is enough! They've already hurt so many! I agree. He's dangerous, though, so we need to think about this. What then? The darkness in the city. It's awful. I want to save these people. I do, but... Who am I? I'm not a hero or a champion. I'm just a beast tamer. Get out of Horizon. Maybe we should. I can tell you're thinking of leaving. I mean, we could. <gasps> but you know if we run away, we won't be able to help all those nice people. Did I get it? Bet I did. How did you know that? We know how you think, and exactly what kind of person you are. Always wanting to save everyone. <clears throat> So you're torn right now, because you want to help the townspeople, but you don't want to risk endangering us. It's that obvious? I find it remarkable that you can handle such heavy burdens. But that is simply part of your nature, Rain. And your nature is what drew us to you in the first place. But... you guys... It's definitely rubbed up on all of us, because we want to protect the city from lousy creeps like that too! She's right, I'm actually kind of starting to like humans now. Although I still get extremely nervous around humans. I do feel genuine affection for the ones living in the city. Me too. Everyone's super nice. Plus, they've got those tasty hot dogs. You guys are the best. If that's really the case, then I'm all in for it. Let's save this city. Yeah! All right then, Edgar. Sounds like everything's under control, but if any problems arise... Of course, Father, but I've got it handled this time. Gillette, it's handled, right? Yes. No one has filed a complaint yet, but if someone does, they will be dealt with just like others were. And I'd like you to find out everything you can about that vagrant rain. If you can locate him, even better. For your trouble, if you manage to bring him to me, I'll double it. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Nobody humiliates me like that. He will pay for his transgression. You... you called, sir? Um, how can I be of service to you, mister? No, wait! The bell rings are supposed to come here immediately! But, sir, I came as fast as I could! Shut your mouth! You should know better than to talk back to me like that! You hear? <laughs> 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 Stream for me! Your streams give me so much joy! Someone! Someone, please help me! Ew. So this is the Order of Knights? I haven't done anything wrong, but I still kind of feel nervous. Uh, are you 
sure we don't need backup for this rain? Runa and Sora are a bit conspicuous right now. It's best that they stay out of sight with Tanya. Let's go. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. If I file an official complaint, you guys will investigate the issue, right? Of course. The Order of Knights was founded to uphold and enforce the laws of the King. I'd like to report an assault. Committed by none other than the Lord of Horizon's son, Edgar. <sighs> You're supposed to carry out the law indiscriminately. So his standing shouldn't matter. Well, you see, sir... Already investigated. Huh? It was just a minor scuffle, is all. No need for the knights to expend more time on such a trivial matter as that. A trivial matter? That Edgar creep tried to kidnap my friend Sora and Runa and... Huh? You're telling me you want us to slander the good name of Lord Edgar and risk being executed for treason? Did somebody have a little too much catnip today? <laughs> <laughs> Their behavior made it clear to me. The Knights are on Edgar's payroll. Yeah? And that's why he's never been charged with anything. The Order of Knights is actively covering up his crimes. They made a deal with the devil. That's awful. <laughs> Who's there? <gasps> You're a knight and you followed us? No, I mean, yes. Listen, I know this looks bad, but it's urgent. There's something I need to discuss with you. Uh -huh. It's important, and I couldn't do it back at the headquarters. Uh -huh. Forgive me. I didn't intend to scare either of you. Uh, wh what is this about? Why the need for all the cloak and dagger stuff? It's fine, I promise. And you really don't have to bow to us like that. Very well, thank you. I'm Vice Captain Stella in place. And I serve with the Horizon Branch of the Order of Knights, sir. Vice Captain? Well, uh, my name is Rain Shroud, ma'am. I'm Kanade. Rain and Kanade. It's you. I can't believe it. Uh -huh. Uh huh? I would like to express my gratitude. Uh, for what? You're the adventurer and cat spirit girl that dispatched the dangerous bandits known as the Ebon Fangs. Word of your courageous actions traveled quickly. Your bravery struck a chord. I have a sworn duty to protect the people of this town, and I have failed them, because I have yet to punish the Lord and his son for their many crimes against the city. I was hoping that you two might help me rectify that mistake. <gasps> the Lord has corrupted most of the knights under my command. They've forsaken their knighthood. They're not only covering up the crimes of the Lord and his son, they're neglecting the townspeople they swore to protect. Our leader, Captain Gillette, is no exception. I had wanted to re-establish the integrity of the Order of Knights, but I couldn't muster up the courage till I saw you. <gasps> the adventurer and the ultimate species who ended the Ebon Fangs, filing a complaint against the Lord's son. It made me remember the way I used to feel in the beginning. I'm ashamed to admit this, but I have become cynical after spending so much time in this dark city. I need your help. Please, I'm begging you. What do you think, Kanade? Can we trust her? What if it's some sort of trap? I believe her heart's true. I can tell Stella's a good person. She just wants to help the townspeople. <sighs> right. For well, you are a pretty good judge of character. You want help? We've got your back. <laughs> You're serious? Yeah. We both want the same thing. I think teaming up is a great idea. There's something I've been wondering about. Why'd you decide to go after the Lord in the first place? To put it simply, we don't like bad guys, and he's a really bad guy. Huh? Wait, that's all it was about? Yeah, I mean, is that weird or something? <laughs> Did I say something funny? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I shouldn't be laughing at this. It's just that it came out of you so matter-of-factly. I find your honesty quite disarming. <laughs> and very inspiring. <laughs> If I were more like you, I could have stopped all this. <laughs> you can't stop this. Rain. Yeah, we will. Perfect! We're gonna go teach that Lord and the Order of Knights a lesson, guys! Let's go! Let's slow down. We can't do anything without proof. We don't want to get accused of treason. Of treason? She's right, and maybe... We can find a way to take them all down in one fell swoop. Huh? We gotta catch them all with their hands in the cookie jar. Wait, what cookie jar? I'm so lost now. We just need a trap. Amazing. 
expected. Yeah, we got this. Those clowns aren't gonna know what hit them. Do not speak with such confidence. So many things could still go wrong. All right, it's now or never. We've heard a rumor that a warehouse on the outskirts of the city contains proof of our dealings with the Lord. Ridiculous. And this is a very sensitive situation. But if this is true and the proof were to become public, it would be the end of both Lord Edgar and us. We must deal with it swiftly and quietly. Before those naive fools in our ranks that still believe in justice and chivalry discover it. Sir, we're good to go. I want to make this perfectly clear. You're to silence any and all witnesses you encounter. Yes, sir! Hey, we need some light. Sir! An ambush! Everybody get out of here! The doors! Oh, and breathing! We're trapped! You cannot run from your fate. It's time for you to face the music! Originally, it was a tool invented to snare animals. But now it's my weapon of choice. Hmm. The dagger still needs a bit more work before it's ready, but that will give you time to master this goblet. For restoring my honor and pride as a blacksmith, I bestow this gift upon you, friend. I truly hope it meets your expectations. It exceeds them. Thank you so much. Now say, good night! So. <gasps> Who's up there? <clears throat> Is that Stella in place? You're done, Gillette Strager. Surrender peacefully. My allies are taking back headquarters as we speak, and they have proof of your corruption. Your twisted game's over. Well, if that's what you believe, then you're in for a rude awakening. I couldn't have done this without you, Rain, but I'd like to end this myself. Uh, Rain? What a coincidence. <laughs> Looks like my lucky day. Lord Edgar is going to be so thrilled once I hand you over, he might even give me another promotion. <sighs> you have to let me finish this on my own. Of course. Gillette's mine. <clears throat> you think you can beat me alone? You're even dumber than I thought, girl. You have forsaken your duty to the people as a knight. Now repent. <clears throat> Atone for your sins and fight on the side of justice. Trigger! Oh, please. You're just silly babbling, little girl. Stella! I'm all right. Here's a secret. So listen, justice is a fairy tale that doesn't exist in this world. Yes, it does. It's our duty to fight for it. Why don't I show now? It'll be your funeral! friend you and i have a common enemy you are familiar with rain shroud aren't you rain shroud uh, are you trying to tell me that he's behind all this nonsense indeed rain is a beast tamer who's managed to tame ultimate species you don't stand a chance against him ultimate he's gonna try to take everything you value in this world your title and all your lands your women and your money, all of it will be gone. Everything. And he actually has the power to do it. Trust me. Impossible. He's an insignificant beast tamer. I will crush him like a bug. <clears throat> what is this? That's a gift, my friend. A magic item that brings death to whomever it happens to target. 
Use it to finish off Rain at your leisure. <laughs> the Rain feeds off wickedness. His dark soul is going to make it even more formidable. Go forth and kill Rain. species serving the pathetic rain shroud if i use the ring to kill him their contract will be nullified and they'll have no reason to fight <laughs> perhaps they'll be calling me master by the end of this ordeal now where is that beast tamer Sounds like the plan is in motion. Thanks to their diversion, we have been able to make it this far undetected. All we need to do now is locate the townspeople who were kidnapped by the Lord's son. And then we'll see <gasps> the heck out of them! My goodness, lower your voice! If we're going to help the poor souls escape before they become hostages, we must do so very quietly. Well, we had better start searching then. You got it! <gasps> I'm awesome at hide and seek! Back me up, Sora! I thought I told you to your voice! And everyone says I'm the violent sister. Material search. Hey, Tanya used that spell once. It lets you see the flow of magic energy, right? Every human being possesses some innate magic. If we trace its signature... Then we can find the people who were kidnapped. Precisely. And then we could use our teleport magic to evacuate them to safety, which will help free up the diversion team to fight without concern for the hostages. Then we finish this by finding evidence of the Lord and his son Edgar's crimes and arrest them. Right. Hmm. What the heck is this? What's wrong? I'm picking up a large magic signature below us, which I assume is from the victims we're looking for. But I'm detecting something else too. And it's huge. Whatever it is, I know it's not human. But it's so much. 
Like it's on the same level as us. Same as you and me? Maybe. An ultimate species? What are we gonna do now? Why is there an ultimate species in the Lord's Manor? Were they kidnapped like the townspeople? Or could they be the Lord and his son's ace in the hole? Either way. All right. I know it'll be tough, but can I count on you to get those people out? Of course, we can take care of that. But what are you gonna do, Rain? I'll find the source of that magic signal. And with what's at stake, we just can't afford any kind of unknown variables. It's too risky. If this stranger is as powerful as we are, you could be in real danger. You can't do it alone. We're gonna need to go with you. <sighs> it's all right, and thanks for your concern. But I don't have any of your teleportation magic, so I can't help those prisoners escape as safely as you do. I'm sorry. I know what I'm asking you to do. But you're gonna have to reveal yourselves as fairies to save them. Even in times like these, you're more worried about everyone else's well-being. We will have to worry about you, though. Well, what else is new? Listen up! If you don't come back in one piece, you'll have to give us a hundred headpats each! You better take care of yourself. You hear me? Loud and clear. I'll try to come back as unscathed as possible. All right, let's move out. Could this be it? A jail cell. She has the ears of a fox, and three tails. She's like them. They were right. She's a demigod. expecting to come across an ultimate species in this backwater Stay bird back. and a young one at that Stay back. No, don't touch me. Ah! Uh, what the hell? You vile impudent mongrel. Do it, sir. Uh, please. Just go away. Even though you're a beast, I think you still know the right choice to make here. Oh, I think the little mongrel just gave me an order, didn't she? Please, I'm begging you to stop, sir. Don't hurt the children. <laughs> it's a slave collar. Why don't you put it on? Yes, sir. Too. Right. 
music from Tanya. And the magical control from Sora and Runa. They're with me. Seems to have paid off. 
Rain's going to die like the pathetic pile of trash that he truly is. <laughs> Farewell, Beast Tamer. I'll be able to get a good night's sleep knowing that you're finally dealt with. Hang on. I feel fine, though. <gasps> if I was hallucinating, it was incredibly realistic. Rain! <laughs> that big scary monster swung in sight at you! Are you sure you're feeling alright? No injuries? Does it hurt? I can heal you, Rain. Show me where you're wounded and I'll take care of it. Yeah, we're not gonna let you go off and die without us, silly. Don't die, Mr. Rain. Ah, uh, jeez. Don't worry. I feel just fine, I promise. Uh <gasps> But how can that be possible when you were struck by the epic spell known as Death Sight? It uses instant death magic that inflicts the death status upon anything it touches. Yeah, but he's not dead. It's quite confounding. Thank goodness. <laughs> you teamers are so awesome that even instant death spells don't work on them. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure that's a beast tamer thing. But the spell didn't work, did it now? Could it be because he's Rain? That's you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> Which is it? No status effect. Because he's rain? <sighs> hey, can I try something real quick? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yo, poison trap! makes me question my understanding of the world. No! She, she lumped, lumped us in with Rain? Rain? Why'd you say it like that? What? <laughs> Why didn't he die? I'm the son of a lord. The world is supposed to bend to my will. I watched it happen. How can this idiot still be alive? My life is ruined. He's going to take it all away. <laughs> I don't accept it. How delightful. I won't accept I it. I rarely stumble upon a soul as corrupt. And I never will! Never! Never! Nothing is as eternal as the foolishness of humans! No! Stop it! What is this? Don't you know who I am? What's that? It smells dangerous! I'm scared! Wait! Wait! Stop it! No! Somebody! Anybody! This is bad. I've got to destroy you while I have the chance. Everyone get back! Fireball!
as an expression of my gratitude, I'll kill you without pity, mercy, or dignity of any kind. The demon. Without pity, mercy, or dignity, I will kill you all. Alas, that will have to wait, for I see a treasure trove of toys over the dark horizon. Did he just run? No, it's much worse. He's not running from us. He's going to attack the people of the city. <sighs> I can't allow that to happen. But we're dealing with a demon here. I could never ask. Huh? <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Stella, take care of Nina and the townsfolk. Of course, Rain. And may luck be on your side. Hey, wait. Oh. Rain, I want to go too. Why don't you hang back here? Besides, I know you're not a big fan of fighting anyway. <laughs> but what if... Don't worry. <sighs> you can leave the heavy lifting to us. Mm -hmm. All right, just wait here. <laughs> now, let's go! They may be fragile, but they're able to reproduce at an impressive rate. Are humans much different than insects? I can hardly tell. <laughs> my, my, look who it is. My wonderful new friends from the mansion. You must have heard all the fun I was having and just couldn't wait for your turn to I'm play. I'm not here to play your stupid game. I'm here to kill you. <laughs> How intriguing. Yes, intriguing indeed. Your proposition sounds infinitely more amusing than stepping on all these ants. Oh. You wanna play, huh? How about a game of cat and mouse? I wanna play. to distract you. While you were playing, we were hard at work preparing for this. Flash impact! <gasps> Did we do it? Hey, that's what I was about to say! <laughs> Great. Of course, nothing's ever that easy. What's this? Five on one? And four are ultimate species. That seems a bit unfair. Perhaps it's time to call in a few reinforcements. Uh, nope, don't like those. He's able to summon monsters? Yes, but they show no sign of intelligence. Now, go forth, faithful minions, and feast until your beastly hearts are sated. Yeah! Dragoon howling! <laughs> as useless as they were obedient. We all knew they were nothing but cannon fodder. And now our sights are back on you! No matter. Uh -huh. Did I mention? My legion is unyielding. There's no limit to the amount of servants I can summon. If you keep sending them, we'll keep beating them. How about that? Ooh, I applaud your spirit, but don't forget. Once you get through my minions, you'll have to go through me. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> the city. <laughs> Look how the insects 
six mess slide up like five tinder. You're gonna pay. Have a fireball. Make it a multi shot. <sighs> Your human magic can barely.
can there be? Wait, you really need to start conserving your power. She's right, and we're supposed to handle the crowd control, remember? Don't worry, this magic circle will teleport you to a safe location. Look at those wings. Are they fairies? I thought they hated humans. Stepping into that magic circle seems risky. How do we know uh, it's safe? There's really no way to know where it was. I knew it. There's no trust. <sighs> Aren't you the girls who ate my hot dogs a few days ago? How were they? They were very delicious. So good! I'll be dreaming about those scrumptious little logs the rest of my life! Oh yeah, is that right? <laughs> they like the same foods as us. At the end of the day, how different can humans and fairies be? <laughs> Remember me? <gasps> Aren't you? You two are so pretty! Are you flower spirits? Can't fault me! I knew you were flower spirits all along! You saved our lives, and for that you have my eternal gratitude. Get a move on, girls. Yes, ma'am. Mana, teleport. Great. Second wave now. Enter the magic circle. Captain, it's an emergency. <sighs> Talk to me. The monsters. They figured out where we are. I'll take care of the teleportation. You help them. Right. Loud and clear. You got it. Such a precise teleportation. 
We may have had some missteps along the way. And I'm sure some people got hurt. But in the end, we saved the city. Rain, I... I really want to help you out more. Do you think I could stay and join your party? Or... Of course. <laughs> But I'm already contracted to all the other members, so I'm not sure if I'll have enough power to contract with you, too. <laughs> <clears throat> Worth the shot. <laughs> all right, my name is Rain Shroud. In establishing this new contract, a bond is formed between us. An oath in our hearts, and hope in our souls. Your power in my hand. Speak now. Say your name. Nina. Contract is sealed. <laughs> yeah! We're peace buddies! I'm gonna be the best big sis you could possibly ask for. I'm your girl. I'll be the best big sis ever. This is wonderful. I've always desired a charming and polite little sister to call my very own. I'm here! <laughs> I guess she is pretty cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> of the knights at the adventurers guild we have just been discussing a kind of collaboration between the knights and adventurers now there's a common goal i came here to ask for the guild's assistance maintaining order while we help to get things under control we never would have considered an alliance before but with captain stella now in charge of the knights we're more than happy to join forces and do our part to help out yeah that sounds like an awesome idea you're way stronger together sounds to me like things are looking up they certainly are, and I'm making the former lord pay back the debts he owes all over the city. I can't help feeling partly responsible for the mess you've got on your plate now. Please, you've given me back the pride and purpose I had in the Knights when I first joined. I can finally hold my head up high, and it's all because of you, Rain. So, thank you. You've made Horizon better. Oh, shucks. It's true, and I'm glad you're here, because we've got a bit of guild business with you. Uh-oh. What kind of business? My pleasure to inform you that you've officially been promoted to a sea of rank adventurer! Isn't uh, that exciting? Um, uh, Miss Natalie? Isn't this some sort of mistake because I just became E-rank? Shouldn't I be D instead of C? Not only did you help bring down the Lord and his son, but you also performed another incredible feat when you vanquished an A-rank equivalent demon. That deserves far more than just a single rank up, so we promoted you again. You should be so proud of yourselves! The guild was really impressed by your efforts, and even more so when they got recommendations from Stella and other adventurers. I was just trying to protect the city, and there's no way I could have done it without my party. Hey, would you just accept the honor already? I've yet to understand why Rain's always so humble. Right? He really is an amazing human being. Isn't it nice? Everyone is acknowledging just how incredible you are. I guess so. Crazy. Of course, the guild will be honoring you with a very sizable reward. We're talking very sizable. Uh, well then, we should have a feast to celebrate. What does everybody think we should eat? Fish, please! Meat! Ooh, hot dogs! Oh, island fried tofu! A lot! I don't believe I recall meeting you before, little one. Have you added another to your party, Ray? Whoops. I must have forgotten with everything going on. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself? Nice to meet you, Mia. My name is Nina. You are so adorable! <laughs> Hold on a second. Is she another ultimate species? Yeah? Is something wrong? <laughs> well, um, I just don't want her to be angry because I treated her like a child. I'm not. I promise. So adorable! <laughs> you get in there! I, I wish to cuddle her as well. <laughs> Nina joining our party is actually the reason we came to the guild today. Because of me? Our room isn't big enough. I mean, we've got six members in our party now. I was hoping that the guild might have some suggestions for us. Ah, uh, I see. 
At this stage in your career, I really think you should consider buying a house. A house? It's cost-effective because it also doubles as headquarters for your team. So the guild actually helps subsidize the cost and they even act as your property agents. It's a little something we do in order to keep our most talented adventurers from moving away from us. Her eyes are freaking me out right now. Why do I get the eerie feeling that she's trying to trap us here? Wow, cool. What do you guys think? It sounds fantastic! Sharing a home with you? I don't think I could dream of anything better. Well, I admit it does sound very tempting. I mean, having a house is tempting, not the rain part. Having a home base for all of us sounds like a brilliant idea. Yeah, just make sure it's worthy of my greatness. Mm -hmm. We do have a lot of gold saved up, and if the guild's gonna help chip in. All right, let's get a house. Yay! None of these homes have felt right yet. And last but certainly not least, we have this beautiful little property here. Yay! It's a gorgeous wood home with a sizable yard, as per Kanade and Sora's request. It also features ten bedrooms with large beds, which Tanya said she wanted. Furthermore, it also has the kitchen and a big bath that Ruta and Nina asked for. It also uh. happens to come fully furnished, and it's within your budget. So, do we have a deal or what? Hold on. If this property is everything we said we wanted, then why didn't you show it first? That is a very good question. Spill the beans, lady. What's wrong with this place? <laughs> It's not really a problem. Just haunted. <coughs> Wait, haunted? You mean there are ghosts in there? <coughs> oh, God, are they? You've got to be kidding me. You're an ultimate species, and you're actually telling me that you're afraid of something as silly as ghosts? How are you not afraid of ghosts? They can't be hurt by physical attacks, and they can possess you! Dear, dear. If you do not mind my asking, precisely what kind of haunting do the ghosts in the manor like to perform? The worst. <laughs> they keep you from being able to sleep on the cool side of your pillow. Make good hot water for you to see as soon as you get in. They're always swapping out your sugar and salt. They have a nasty habit of sticking rotten eggs in your shoes. And they like to smear leftover curry on your freshly cleaned laundry. It's impossible to sell the house. These ghosts are monsters. <laughs> Seems pretty mild. Inconvenient, but not monstrous. Yeah, certainly not bad enough to give up on the house. I would agree, but... No, no, I can probably handle it. If you guys are all here with me, then I won't be afraid of the ghost. Hmm. Hey, I know. Uh -huh. Why don't we all investigate the house and see if there's anything we can figure out about your ghost problem? Great idea. I'm definitely in. I'd go in with you, but I should probably hold down the fort out here. Good luck, though. Be safe. Uh, that's weird. All right, let's do it. Yeah! <laughs> do you really need to hold on to my tail like that? Yes. Yes, I do. place sure looks pretty clean for a haunted house. Yes, I may be wrong, but haunted houses don't really receive maid service. <gasps> What's that? It isn't fairy magic, I can tell you that much. I believe that it's supernatural magic. Get out. <gasps> Get out. <laughs> Calm down. We can protect you. Get out. Get out now. Let's show this ghost a thing about real magic. One blast of purification magic should do the trick. Indeed it should. Let's begin. Holy, Holy Circle! Uh. Did it work? Get out now. <laughs> if it were alive, it wouldn't be a ghost, would it? That should have worked, but the ghost teleported itself to the astral plane just before the spell's impact. Pretty clever trick for a ghost, but that's not gonna stop us. I know spells that'll still work on the astral plane. She's right, but the spells would likely destroy the house along with the spirit. Should they still try them? This 
there another way? Get out of my house! Here's the knife! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out now! You need to get out! You hear me? I might have an idea. Does that spirit actually have any means of physically attacking us? Uh-oh. If I heard correctly, the spirit just said, uh-oh. I guess the ghost's out of the sheet, isn't it? I mean, spirit. <clears throat> then I guess I'll have to show you that I am! How'd you like to be possessed? Stop! <clears throat> what are you doing to me? Can't move. How are you doing this? You've never met a beast tamer, have you? Huh? Are you calling me a beast or something? Funny story. Back when I was a little kid, one of the men who lived in my village told me about phantom taming. Oh yeah? Then what? Uh, that's pretty much the end of it. Why on earth would you think that's a funny story? That doesn't explain anything! It's never a funny story. Huh? Well, you seem to have a lot of personality, which may not be true for most ghosts, so maybe that has something to do with it? Think that's it? How should I know? <laughs> I won't be tamed by a little punk like you! I'm an all-powerful ghost from the spirit world! Down. <laughs> Fine, you win! Go on and boil me up or whatever. Hi there, I'm Rain Shroud. Your name? Uh -huh. It's all right. I just want to talk. Uh. <laughs> You're kind of a strange little guy, aren't you? My name is Tina Holy. I used to work as a maid in another city, but well, then I sort of died about thirty years ago. Eventually, I ended up here. So you haven't lived in this house the whole time? It's not like I'm bound to one location. I'm a ghost, not a prisoner. If you don't mind, how did you end up becoming a ghost in the first place? It's a bit personal. Uh, I had worked for a real sicko at that mansion. A sadistic pervert who got his rocks off by beating women. Guess he went too far with me, because the next thing I knew, I was a ghost. Don't know why I'm a ghost, though. So what do you plan on doing now? Good question. Since I can't drive you out, I guess I should go. Sorry about being so scary. <laughs> Kanade, are you still afraid of Tina? A little bit. Although, I mean, I could probably get used to her if I had all you guys around. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, now that's the spirit. <laughs> That settles it. What do you think you'd say if we asked you to stay here and live with us, Tina? Uh, why would you ask me that? After all the trouble I've caused? Actually, all the trouble you've been causing in this home is the only reason we can afford a place this incredible. Seems fair that you benefit from our good fortune, too. That makes sense. But I don't understand why you're being so nice. Unless you're playing a trick or something. I know you've had some bad experiences, but Rain is a good person who says what he means. Yeah, but that one's terrified of ghosts. Oh, don't worry about me. Like I said, I can get used to you before long. <laughs> Just try your best not to startle me all the time by passing through walls and stuff. When you were working as a maid, did you spend any time cooking? If you did, I'd greatly appreciate lessons. We would all love to have you. But don't you dare ever let her cook a single dish for us. Hmm? Her cooking is terrible. It's worse than you could imagine. It's so nice to meet you. You're serious. <laughs> would you like to live here with us? Come on. Yeah. That sounds great. Great! 
Everything looks to be in order here. Congratulations! You are officially proud homeowners. <laughs> Another thing, it was a pleasure to see your handiwork in action. Turning a ghost into your ally? Amazing! Tina's the best! She fits so perfectly in the group. Right now, she's helping everyone set up for our housewarming party. We should head back and help out. Yeah, we still have to pick up groceries, too. Go on, then. I can handle the rest from here. May I just say, Horizon is proud for you to call it home. Home, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess it is our home now. Here you go. Thank you. Excuse me. Hey, shopkeep, how can I help? Uh, the hero? If you don't mind, we're gonna need a week's worth of rations for the party. We're a bit short on funds at the moment. But surely it's on the house. Think of it as a donation to the hero's party. You're a charitable guy, right? Aiding the hero is a sacred promise that we all share. God will reward you for it. We're bound to a life of service. Will you do your part? I'd love to help the hero's party, but I just simply don't have any merchandise that I can spare right now. <laughs> you fool. I don't think you have a clue who you're talking to, do you? You're talking to the man himself. The one who's going to defeat the Demon King and save the world. I know exactly who you guys are. You're the group that hasn't done anything for Horizon. <clears throat> Watch yourself. You're just a simple shopkeep. If you don't choose your words more carefully, I'll have your head on a platter. Just stop wasting your energy on this halfwit. Let's find another shop and... Yeah, good luck. There's not a single shop in this city that'll contribute to your so-called cause. How dare you? You insolent little... Uh, uh, I am fighting for a hero made from a demon. know how to use that sword. Trying to scam free food? Wow, what some hero. Wrong? They haven't had to work a day in their lives. <laughs> 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 Let's go. But Arios, our provisions... We've wasted too much time with this crap town. I bet you wish you were half as much of a hero as that beast tamer is. Curse you, Rain Shroud. You will die by my hand. I swear it! I didn't expect all this. I still can't believe we got this much food for free. The city sure has been generous to us lately. I bet everyone's just happy to be back. Me too. Glad we could help them. <laughs> Wait, hold on! Huh? For what? <clears throat> Welcome home. <gasps> yeah, that's right. Oh, 
out when I'm really hungry, which is a normal thing for humans. Yeah, me too, because it's very sad to be hungry. So why don't you have some of my meat then? It's delicious. I have cooked a dish too. Would you like to try it? Rain, you don't want to try Sora's cooking, trust me. Why don't we all eat now? Eat, eat. I can cook some more if you'd like. <laughs> if you say so. Let's dig in. This is the story of a beast tamer driven out of the hero's party who happened upon an ultimate species cat girl and forged a set of bonds he never thought possible. Well, it's the prologue at least. <laughs> 